That's why they're so successful in life. We protect their ass. And that's why they love us. However, we blew the shit out of them in World War II. So. Apparently the only good actor in this is Probably Jamie Lee Curtis. No. Was it Kate Blanchett? No. Kevin Hart. No. Who is it? Jack Black. That doesn't Apparently surprise me. Everyone surprise else is like, he was your last choice, though. So I mean, he did kill it in Mario Brothers. He did. Uh, yeah, and Jumanji. I mean, he was so good. I loved him in Jumanji. Jumanji. So oh, good. My, my God. Yeah, he is. He, what a gem, that guy. I yeah. want to hang out with him. Yeah. I watched uh, The White Chicks. Oh, Have you guys seen The White Chicks? A <laughs> long time ago. Well, it was on Netflix, and I'm like, I haven't seen this in a minute, but I remember the Terry Crews in it, because that's where that one meme comes from. Mm -hmm. And, man, I laugh my booty <laughs> off. That movie is so funny. He yeah, was actually kind of gross in that movie. I don't want like, you to total, like, dude, right? Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, the the part where the car came up, and she started, like, just, well, it's funny. She laughed. <laughs> it's just, it's weird to see him, because he did the whole song. Damn. I don't know if it was scripted or what, but it was funny. It's it's been a big minute since I've seen it. I'll have to go back and watch go, it. Go to Netflix. It's worth the watch again. Yeah, I just recently watched Prometheus. I'd never seen it. And I watched uh, Covenant. I kind of avoided them because a lot of people told me that they were great. Well, it, I liked, it depends. I liked them both. It depends on, on a lot of different things. Like... I liked Covenant probably the best of the prequels. If uh, you know. I actually liked it the least, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, but you know the Prometheus ones—they're a little bit of a stretch for me. I liked Prometheus. I mean, they weren't bad. I'd say out of all the prequels, though, that's the one I, I preferred. Covenant. I, I liked them both. Actually, they're not as good as the originals. Oh no. Definitely and not. but they were better than Part Three, and they not were better wrong. than Resurrection. Also not wrong. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, and then the like, med nope, medical pod. Good. Yeah, that was Did pretty rough. Did you imagine Like, that was... Shit, that was, that was popcorn, like, man. That was actually pretty good. rough. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. man, she's yeah. just... Yep, she's well, just... They're just taking it right out of her, I guess. If it was yeah. a different type of surgery, maybe. That one, I'm good. Are we live? Oh, cool. <laughs> we've, been just, we've been just talking about <laughs> movies and stuff. This. So, hey, guys. Uh, we don't. We're not sponsored by Alien Romulus, but we're really excited for but it. But we are fans of it. <laughs> It'll be out next week, and apparently, Borderlands is terrible. Yep. I don't think you can get your money back for watching it, though. If we were recording at that time, Jack Black, if you want to come play D and D with us, yeah, yeah, yeah seriously, dude. Um, you can play any character you want. I don't even care. Yep. yep. You just tell me the magic item you want, and you can have it. Oh, you can be a dragon. Oh, what a power! <laughs> what a power! <laughs> Be, uh, he can do wield them for all I care. I, don't, I, don't, I really <laughs> don't care. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are the Initiative Syndicate, and we are we're live. Yeah, we are. Uh, we are going to be continuing our adventures in uh, the Raiders Camp. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> what the f is that? I don't know. That was a pretty good one, though. Like, all right. As soon as you announce the city, <laughs> are we are we in everything? Are we alive on everything? Yeah. Oh, man, look at us go. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. No, no, you're doing great. You're doing great. A uh, round of applause for our director slash producer who makes all this happen every week. And you're finally on camera this week, too. Finally yeah. on camera this week so they can see your your face. <laughs> yeah. Which face. is worth the price of admission alone. Yep. As long as admission's free. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration, sir. Yes! However, because that was mean, Aaron also gets inspiration. I get this. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to get into this because I'm not sure how long this is going to take you guys to get through the the uh, the caves, but basically, yes, you guys are in these caves after uh, you followed these raiders who stole a bunch of treasure from a town that you guys were camping in like staying out in and uh you were hired to go back to the camp to find out what's kind of going on when you got there the camp was abandoned for the most part there was a few stragglers but it looks like the 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 camp itself and all, most of the raiders and cultists of this cult of the dragon these worshipers of something known as the mother of dragons uh they have left you're not sure where they went and uh you guys are here finding That's answers so you guys are now down in this dungeon uh, you guys should be in the middle of a battle right now. I think uh, we, you guys came across some stuff, and I said, well, we're going to stop there. 
Yeah. And was, uh, we're gonna roll for initiative. Yeah, it was kobolds. Oh yeah, that that's that's how we do it. I'm not sure if they know exactly this where we are. We like do. like a meteor. All right, let's see. I got the. Uh, do you guys have the uh, the the IP Daddy for the thing to get in, or you guys need it again? Oh. Uh, take me to the fair. Okay. I mean, Daddy I yeah, I've got it. That would be a good idea. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think it should be presenting. If it's not, I will throw it up there. Presenting. Yep, it's, it's presenting. Aha, I have it in my recent tabs. Nice, oh, nice. Good uh-huh. job, good job. Yeah, I had my spider um, hanging out in the hallway, and the spider heard something, and then I'm like, hey, And it was kobolds. five wing kobolds? Six wing kobolds? Uh, I think it was kobolds. five. That's what, that's what he rolled, right? Who rolled the... It was that guy, right? Or the guy who's not here this I think it might have been the guy, the guy that was I think it's the guy that's not here. It always is. He rolls the bad thing and then doesn't show up that week. Yep. Um, which one of you fine people is going to be helping with his character this week? I'll probably. Okay. All right. So, monsters. Kubood. The uh, it's like a bunch of numbers, and I'm not gonna say it out loud. <laughs> I mean, they they can get in, but it would also lead them to your home IP address. So I didn't think you'd want that. So it is one five seven two. <laughs> Come from a walkie-talkie. <laughs> All right. All right, so your characters are pretty much where they were. Um, I'm going to roll some initiative rolls here. I don't. We Terrible. haven't rolled initiative yet either, have we? No. No, we no. haven't. Okay. We waited. He just asked us to. All right. A lot of people go to school for nine years. <laughs> yeah, they're called doctors. Uh, Fig, how'd you do? Oh, bad. I got a six. Six. Okay. Uh, Fiora. 17. 17. Pink dice. Golk. Haven't done one of these in a while. I got pink <laughs> dice anymore. 19. 19. Well, it works. <laughs> Crispin. Uh, you want to use my dice? 18. 13. 13. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's totally helpful. And Otis. 6. 6. Hey. Uh, whose dex is higher? Dex, yeah. uh, my dex is 18. You. So, right. Otis. But I'm also... You're a fucking rogue. <laughs> I'm multi-classing. <laughs> In what? Secret boy. <laughs> He's already said. All right. I want to throw on some uh, battle music. <laughs> you guys make fun of my songs sometimes, but you guys love them. That, I feel like that's more appreciating your songs than making fun of it. Yeah, so the, double I, I think really the only thing you guys really make fun of is that all my goblins sound the same. They and you guys are going to keep it up, and I'm just not going to do voices anymore. <laughs> they all sound anymore. like Italian. They're monsters. all just going to sound like me. They're supposed to sound Italian. In my head, they're mobsters. So goblins are Italian. Sure. <laughs> in, in my head, that's what they sound like. They sound like uh, like the, the, the very stereotypical, non-real gangsters. Orcs sound like Russians. Do they? I thought that's how yeah. dwarves sound. Because they give no fuck. They're like honey <laughs> <laughs> Mine's not like it's from World of Warcraft. That's kind of how I picture goblins talking. World of Work. <laughs> I like you. I missed that game. That game was so fun. And then they then they ruined it. They didn't ruin it. They, they just ruined brought it. back classic. Then it's classic. just not that good. I know. Then, what you're then Burning Crusade. Then you know classic 2.0. <laughs> All right. Uh, top of the round is this winged kobold. So you see this small lizard-like looking. Dragon folk with wings. Um, he is. Where the heck is he? He's right there. He is going to move. Uh, let's see. He's got a fly speed. He is going to move there and he is going to attack. Um, you see him actually like 
wielding a sling, and he picks up a jagged rock from the ground, and he's going to fling it at Please, the fox. What does, what does the fox And he asks say? what the fox says. <laughs> Change my name to Hugh uh, Seven is not going to get there. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's going to be his turn. Golk, you're up. All right. Golk feeling mighty. Uh, he's going to walk over to W2. And. Is that a family name? W2. <laughs> <laughs> Should be WD. 40. 40. Um, yeah, walk up to W2 and just not even feel like he's worthy of like my actual <laughs> act. So I just like bitch slap him. Just wow. <laughs> right across the face. <laughs> so mean. And no, uh, no, no respect. Yeah. Maybe I'll have the the kobold sound like Rodney Dangerfield. Yes. Twenty. <laughs> no respect. Uh, God, I hope so, bro. <laughs> a twenty. <laughs> Does a twenty hit your kobold? <laughs> nope. These are god kobolds. God kobold. They have all figured out how to ascend to super saiyan. Five. Three. Five uh, natural damage, and then six radiant damage. What's the radiant damage from? Uh, path. Uh, pathfinder. Are you raging? I always forget to rage first. I gave you it just, to you last week. You Scawfog. <laughs> Scawfog, are you there? <laughs> Scawfog. How much damage was it total? With, it, was, it was 11, right? It was 11, yeah, but yeah. Okay. And you, then I'll bonus action rage. Okay. <laughs> you're you're going to actually really like the new barbarian because you can just maintain your rage as long as you want. I'm yeah, so angry. Nice. <laughs> All right. So uh, anything else from you? <laughs> As you come up with uh, your fist just glowing with radiant energy. <coughs> I forgot to reach. Um, but it's fine. We just let you have it. With the five fingers saved to the face. <laughs> All, All right. right. Uh, yeah. That's going to bring us to Fiora. All right. Um, yeah. So. My guy has a lisp. How like big Tyson. Gold is. Can I. If I I'll were kick to. You. <laughs> here, could I see down the hall? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I just figured I'd ask. I am going to cast Fairy Fire in the middle of the floor down there. Sounds good. Uh, these are deck saves? Yes. <laughs> like that one? Uh, let's do... I wish I could do that all the time. I'm so good. Oh, I should I'm Mike Tyson oh. Barbarian. All right, just right down the line. You should do that. I got a 19 on the first one. Pass. I can't do this. I got a 9 on the second. Fail. A nat one on the next one. Fail. And a <laughs> sixteen. Uh, pass. All right. Two fail, two pass. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty helpful. So this guy is affected by fairy fire. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember how to add a condition to him. New condition. Double pass is real hard. <laughs> he has. Who kicked other? <laughs> I was marking this other. Uh, let's see. And this guy has um, it. Uh, and but nobody is that it? It's funny. Um, I'm gonna move away a little bit. Where's and my dice? Then, <laughs> and then I'm going to bonus action Shalala and then pass. Sounds good. Shalala. Crispin. Shalala. Okay. He is going to be all the dead. Need a little more southern drawl. <laughs> I don't have very much. Uh, on uh, W two. Crispin decides that he wants to toll the dead. He gonna toll the dead on him. I do declare. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a wisdom save. <clears throat> Which one are you tolling the dead on? Uh, w two. Uh, that is a thirteen. That. Exactly. Oh, that's true, too. DC, unfortunately. Breaking Bad. What do you need? Um, Who is this? Breaking Bad. There's a new Breaking Bad on this action stuff. I'm watching the old one. You're watching the old one? Never seen it. Really? really? It, is, it is spells phenomenal. lots for now. Dude, it's sure how have you never seen that? It's so good. I know no spoilers. I know no spoilers. It's the best. So. This uh, is yeah, a spoiler. He'll stay there. I hope I'm on season three, five. Not too close. Not too far. All right. Anything else for Crispin? Nope. Uh, it's going to bring us to this kobold here. 
He's going to spread his wings, fly across the top of the ceiling, go on the other side behind Gulk, and he is going to attack with his uh, dagger. He has pack tactics, so this will be an advantage. That's bullshit. He would have never known he had pack tactics. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> they did not practice this shit. <laughs> that is a 21 to hit. Yeah, I'm going to... Where is my D4? Where is my D4? <laughs> if I attack with my sickle, it's a 1D4 minus 1. Uh, you take 7 fine. points of piercing damage halved. So, 3? Nice. Oh, that was his that turn. puts me down to 57. Next winged kobold <laughs> is going to move up here and also has pack tactics. God damn it. It's a good thing you raged. That is a 22 to hit for... Misses. Uh, five points of piercing damage halved. So two. two. And that brings us to another wing kobold who's going to fly down here, and they are swarming Gulk because he's the biggest thing in the room. Don't worry, I'll cast fire. And he better. is going to attack with pack tactics. I'm so fucked. That's a crit. <laughs> well, you know the drill, buddy. Someone's here. Yeah, you hear the pack tactics? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled max damage. Uh, it's not very raging. much. This is raging. It's 11 points of piercing damage halved. Oh, my. Oh, dang. That would have hurt. Anybody, it feels way more than the cult. <laughs> All right, Otis, you're up. All right. I'm bleeding. We, uh, we don't have silence up, do we? No. Not in this situation. All right. I will pull out my trusty dagger. And I will chuck it at W3. Which one? Feel like I could. Oh, oh, true. Which ones are under the fairy fire? W3 and. There we go. Fairy fire's advantage? W1. Yeah, nice. So, okay, the one that's deep. In so, the chuck my dagger at W3. Okay. W. George W. Bush. Hey, Dad, this is W. Yeah. Um, that is. Probably gonna hit with a dirty 24. Gosh, yeah, I hope so. Fool me once. Nah, these guys are dragons. Shame on you. Fool me. We can't get fooled again. <laughs> oh, that is max damage. Five damage. On W3? On W3. Get ready to catch the floor. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to shot put Rufus, my man. Okay. Uh, so Rufus is going to fly over to W4. Okay. And he is going to go for the jugular. You got it. It was my fellow yeah. Americans. <laughs> <laughs> um, plus, uh, plus uh, uh, 16 to hit. 16 hits. Nice. Right. The shacks. They are shacks. Plus proficiency. Um, four damage. On uh, W4, four damage. Yep. You got it. And then that will be my turn. All right. Nice. It's going to bring us to Fig. Cool. Fig's going to go here, uh, pull out his rapier, uh, and it's going to ignite with green flame. He's going to use a uh, green flame. So W3 is under fairy fire? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna that guy. We banned that ability. Has to be blue flame. Uh, mm. Not that great. <laughs> uh, 14. 14 hits. I last saw it. Okay, so it is gonna be. What's up? I said I hate you. It's a lie. Uh, on that guy, it is gonna be. 14 damage. There is some fire damage. In 14 there. damage on W3? Yes. Oh, uh, he's dead. Okay, cool. And then 2 damage as, as the green flame hits that guy, like bounces to uh, W2 and deals 2 damage to W2. 2 fire damage. 2 fire damage. You got it. Green flame blade. Nice. Uh, that's it. All right. Next up is the last winged kobold. He is going to fly up over here, over the top body of his dead friend, <laughs> and he is going to attack Gulk at advantage. Uh, 
that is a 17 to hit. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> it's six points of piercing damage halved. Damn. Gawk doesn't like this shit. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Next up is W2, going to attack Gulp with advantage. Wow. I rolled a 2 and a 4. <laughs> Miss. Solid. Miss, bitch. You remember when I had advantage and I rolled two ones? It happens. Gulp, it you're happens. up. All right. So Gulp is pios. I bet you are. You've been stabbed a lot. <laughs> <coughs> you got a bunch of paper cuts. Um, so, W2 right in front of me. Just gives him a left hook. Just straight to the face. Just straight punch him, huh? Straight punch him. I like it. What do you say as you straight punch him? I kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> We're making a Mike Tyson barbarian. <laughs> and he's going to have a lisp and everything. I wouldn't want to fight that guy. <laughs> <laughs> true. Well, we don't speak about I wouldn't, him. I wouldn't want to fight him now. <laughs> I don't want to fight that dude in 10 years. No longer with us. And I definitely don't want to fight him in 20 years. When he's like... <laughs> Even older and meaner. <laughs> I didn't realize I had a, such a good Mike, Mike Tyson impersonation. <laughs> He's dying. Oh my gosh. Uh, 14 plus 5, 19. 19 hits, yes. That's sweet. So much to go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 7 damage uh, physical. To W2. Yeah, just blunt it. Blunt it in. You and got it. He, uh, he. Wait. He, he bursts into flames from your radiant energy. Now it really did. As your fist comes like flying towards him, you see his eyes get all big and wide. It's like he's like cringing, but it's just not enough. Yeah, he falls on the ground. He has the X's over his eyes, like in a cartoon <laughs> with the birds flying around his head. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, Mario, the referee, comes in and goes one, two, three. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, I will, should be good. I'll sit here and tank it. Feel good. Feel good about it? Yep, feel good where I'm standing. Okay, okay. Next up is Fiora. All right. Are you maintaining concentration on this spell still? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry, which ones have the... Uh, W3 is dead and W1 still has it. Nice. W1. 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 W1's in the hallway. Oh, got it. I can't see him. That was okay. George Bush um, Sr. <laughs> He's like on top of the body. It doesn't look like it refreshed well. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I can't really hit that very well, so yeah. I am going to aim at yeah, W4, I, I suppose, <laughs> with um, Produce Flame. Produce flames. New D and D campaign. We all have to be uh, famous politicians. Twenty one hits. Twenty one hits. Mike Tyson's not politicians. He could be. <laughs> Seven Arnold Schwarzenegger was though. Ah, nice to meet you. Seven. You did the nice. job. <laughs> You're my number one customer. On W one, correct? Uh, w four. It's w4. not a Duma. Seven points of fire <laughs> damage. You got it. Now I'm gonna scoot back a little bit more and then touch her. Of course you will. Of course you will. I'm ranged. And next up is. Chris said you had the turbo mend on. Uh, I think he'll I go up. Get you a turbo mend. Oh, I saw the movie for the first time it. this past <laughs> Christmas. I just, it's what so players? It's uh, terrible. And you'll use Word of Radiance. I'm not saying uh, I didn't so enjoy it. Both of those guys need to make a con save. <laughs> All right. Let's do W4 first. I don't that plays the neighbor. I'm sure that fails. And oh, then yeah. let's do W5. Oh, yes, uh, maybe. Maybe. Nope, that's a ten. She's like, his bike oh, is so both definitely fell. cheating. Uh, they both take two radiant damage. Two radiant damage. Can't wait till the cantrips get better. Level five. <laughs> One more level. Uh, we all get two attacks. Oof. <laughs> two radiant I damage. Right <laughs> <laughs> Under. Okay. Yeah, and he'll stay here. They call me the Magic Man. <laughs> All right. From Winged Kobold at W5, attacks Golk. Yeah, uh, that is a 17 to hit. Yep. Uh, six points of piercing damage halved. 36. Uh, next is W4, attacking Golk. That's another crit. You bitch. <laughs> Hey, 
eight, eight we points just of met. <laughs> eight points of piercing damage halved. Next is Otis. All right. You've got these kobolds coming out, and they're basically like swarming over Gulk. You're not sure why they don't like him very much. Maybe they have a thing against orcs. You're not sure, but they are That's they are just climbing up, crawling on top of him, and trying to stab him. Well. Might be the fact that he splattered the brains of the one guy all over the cavern wall next to him last turn, but I don't know. It, it could do that. Um, hmm. All right, Otis is going to close with W4. W4. And he's going to take out his that crazy dragon scimitar thing and the fancy yeah. sheath he got. And he's <laughs> never used a sword before in his life. <laughs> so I think as he draws it, he's, he like is trying to draw it and accidentally like swings when he's drawing <laughs> it. He's just like, ah! <laughs> So we'll see how this goes. Oh, it's going to hit. I mean, it's a dex-based weapon. You I, should be fine. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, 23 to hit. Sure is. And Scimitar, D6 plus 4. Uh, 8 damage. 8 points of damage. Uh, this is on W4? Yep. Uh, you slice this dude in half. You're kind of like, you kind of accidentally pull it out getting ready to, to fight with it. And I don't know if it's just instinct or just dumb luck. You kind of swing it up and it cleaves him right up the, right up the middle. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I was planning to do it. Just like he's just drawing it, he doesn't make an actual swing. Uh, all right, cool. And I will stay where I'm at. And then um, I'm gonna yell at Rufus. I'm gonna say Jimlet, <laughs> and he's gonna go for W five. You got it. He is gonna take a bite of that jugular. Get him. Twelve to hit. Twelve does not hit. Boo! His first miss. That ends my turn. All right. Next up is Fig, Fig. Our, our rogue extraordinaire. That has I'm a lower dex than our. What's fairy fire? fire. Uh, yes, W one still That's has fairy fire. That's who's going for? Uh, he's not going to scream from me because there's nobody else to him. So the uh, eighteen to hit. Sure does. Just puts the Zora and, uh, Rufus is going to sneeze again and throw a little bit of poison onto your weapon to do an extra d6 of damage. I thought I, I, thought I got an extra d6 from somewhere. I was like, why, why did I get an extra d6? <laughs> That's for me. One time. Like, I already have four of them. All right. Okay. What could it be? <laughs> it's going to be 19 damage. Ooh. You it killed. The, it was the acid damage. <laughs> Owie. Yeah, uh, that takes him down. It's like a mixture of like fire. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay, cool. Um, I'll Rufus is a better warlock patron than you are. <laughs> Praise step, to my dragon. Uh, I'll step on this guy's dead body, and I'll use the bonus action to weapon fighting, uh, and take a dagger, attack at him. 21 hits. It is six damage. Six damage. All right. They scream when they do that rap. This uh, this guy seeing oh his friends gosh. all dead. <laughs> Gulk, you're up. Uh, so, Gulk, uh, kind of just gonna go full like. Um, Monkey with symbols, <laughs> and just go like this with his fist, like the hawk smash. Give, just, just give him a little. Yeah. Okay. See if I can connect my knuckles together when I'm done. So. Hulk hands. <laughs> Why are you rolling at advantage? Oh, you're reckless on attack. Uh, yeah. I I, I, I wasn't sure. No, no. <laughs> I am now. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteen. You were just rolling two well, dice. Because, because uh, the fairy fire, I thought, but it's, that's a it's different guy. My bad. bad. He's yeah. like, I'm just rolling two dice to see if you notice. <laughs> Look at that! I got another crit. It's so weird. <laughs> I think I only crit once. Uh, plus five. Thirteen. Thirteen doesn't hit. Damn it. Oh wait, I lied. It does. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Dumbass. Uh, four plus. Two. All right, eight. 
Uh, physical, and then four more, so 12. Yeah, the 12. last little bit of radiant damage there is uh, enough to, you get both of your knuckles to connect on the other side. Kind of give yourself your own fist bump. Yep. Nice. Sounds like somebody just rang the dinner bell. Just. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That is going to drop Half all of you out of combat. I go pick up my dagger first thing that nice. I chuck. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you retrieve your dagger. I go pick up my monk. Boy, I probably need more than one of these. Didn't all of the kobolds have daggers? Did they? So they they all had more. daggers, yeah. Mm. Can, I have, like, right there. can <laughs> I have like <laughs> four more to my inventory? Sure. Cool. Were there weapons in the room where everyone was sleeping? I think so. Scimitars. Scimitars. Just scimitars? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was going to ask for a, uh, if there was like a short bow or something in there. Mm -mm. Crossbows. Oh, crossbows. Crossbow? You want a crossbow? Do I want a crossbow? crossbow? He's like, I shoot bullets. Sure, I'll take a crossbow. Yeah, I want to say that the goblins had uh, crossbows. Just, I think they were, I think they were light crossbows. We'll say as far as bolts, probably standard. They each probably had about ten, I'd say. A walloping crossbow bolt? What is that? <laughs> it is something you don't have. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the list of things to get. I, uh, I mean, it's, it's like shopping list. It's kind of cool, but Look I mean, for walloping crossbow. Bolt. They have to succeed a DC ten strength saving throw or get knocked prone. Oh, I see. Pretty, uh, pretty easy. Okay, so uh, you said light crossbow, and then 20 bolts, you said? Uh, I'd say each one of the goblins in that room had probably 10 bolts. Okay. So that's 40 bolts? If, if you take them all, sure. Sure. Can that Miss Leslie, you're going to have so many weapons on you, you're going to walk. <laughs> I know. Just imagine he walks out of it for just like. Kind of reminds me of. No, that's uh, what's 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 his uh, the robot's name from Futurama. Oh, uh, Bender. 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 Yeah. I like stealing things. <laughs> <laughs> Is it stealing it? Oh, he's no longer. Oh, with Bender us. was definitely stealing. Whatever, yeah, was definitely stand it, stealing it. That's I that's one of my all time favorite shows. I love, I love Futurama. <laughs> Even the new episodes have been good. I haven't seen any of the new ones yet. They're they're pretty good. I mean, not all of them are home runs, but it, they're pretty good. Okay, so uh, you guys have uh, defeated all the kobolds from the wandering group. Um, what would you like to do now? Want to try to take the short rest again, or do they go yeah. to pursuit again? I think so. I don't know how much damage gold. 32 out of 53. Jesus. Yeah, yeah he's a... Let's have a nap. He's a house. What are you talking about? He's got more <laughs> hit points now than any of you. They're going to be a brick shit. 32? He, has, he still has more than my maximum. My <laughs> maximum is 31. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, hey, pretty mama. <laughs> How about you, Otis? What's your max? Oh, mama. Probably 40. Me? Uh, 36. Yeah. 36. He's got right. almost as much hit points <clears throat> as you, and he got stabbed repeatedly <laughs> in that fight. Yeah. Five. <laughs> you guys are fine. You guys will be all right. Mama warned yeah, about girls like you. I was of course, who am I to tell you guys that you can't take a short rest? I am not. <laughs> I think we can try again. Yeah. yeah, let me try one more time, I think. I would like that max. Okay, so you guys did not get your short rest. No, we did not. Because <laughs> you guys ran into some, some difficulties. So, I am going to need someone to roll on a d6. Not Jesse. Not Jesse. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not going to roll because I have two. All right, I'll, I'll right roll now, D, D6. So. Two. <laughs> Guess I can roll it. It's good. Oh, no. <laughs> you live. You guys get your short rest. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. 20 cultists show up. <laughs> they beat the shit. They beat the 20 shit cultists show up. And end your lives. For real. <laughs> this could channel divinity and help me with that. You 
is this channel doing? Cool. I'm back to 35 out of 36 hit points. I can't actually make any paper show. Though. I just finished up my candy DoorDash order. <laughs> Your candy DoorDash <laughs> order? <laughs> What'd you get? Candy. Candy. Do you Kind of. Oh, Same look. How, uh, peanut butter M&M's? Yeah. Anybody else? <laughs> no wait, no way asked you, Fig. Didn't I get you candy last week? Hey, he did. No, not last week. It was two it was weeks like ago. Two get your dates right, man. That wouldn't happens. hold up in court. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's not video evidence. Yeah. I got a, I got an alibi what I was doing last weekend. Uh, maybe some plus some like Reese's. Okay. So, so, so one, one hour. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know hour. Five. Five. Since that happened, the rest. Yeah. ten rest. minutes. Whatever. Yeah, but since we came into the cave. Oh, you guys have probably only been in here maybe an hour. Or PCs, okay. or because my uh, spider only lasts for two hours. So yeah, you guys was probably break. well, an hour Reese's plus the rest. So you guys an probably rolling seven. up. Plus an no, an hour plus the rest. The rest is an hour. Five, so oh, I didn't realize it's been that long. Okay, so my spider's coming out. Yeah. Is the water in your oh, fridge work? Oh, all right. So I have some in the fridge well, upstairs. I'll I'll a picture. I won't take it all. You probably will. Just go ahead and fill it up. Fill it up. Oh. <laughs> I'll figure it out. All right. Do we explore this room? Uh, yes. You guys... Ex this one, that, no. That we was... Went back, right? it's I think it's we went to this one. We're like, let's go sure yeah. We didn't go into the next one, but my spider just took a very brief peek in. It's all fancy. It's got lots of, like, plush, like, uh, oh. red... Drapery oh, and like, treasure in there. <laughs> yeah, and the uh, money yeah, that was the uh, that was the like the very black. plush sort of got it, um, like furs and stuff. Who yep, wants to go there next. There <laughs> <laughs> is room Keep 11. Just play an insect race. Just a lot of my backup characters for Ravnica was a Simic hybrid. Nice. Well, right That'd now, we've already decided our two backups. We just got to fight over who's going to be Mike Tyson, Bill Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can double dash and get Budweiser. <laughs> Go with my M&M's. <laughs> On the highway to hell. Oh, now you want to walk, Chris? I love it. My backup character was going to be either a ranger or a ranger slash rogue, and um, I think with uh, Simic Hybrid, you can like, choose to walk on walls. Oh, yeah. So I was yeah, just going to shoot things from standing on the ceiling. That's awesome. <laughs> my next guy's going to be an architect. Head knows me. <laughs> okay, so you guys came in but from it's be the one that makes got it. it. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, so where are you guys heading? I think we're gonna go to the plush room. All right. So you guys are in free roam mode, so you guys don't have to apply your movement distances and stuff. So I can do the whole find familiar thing again. If you guys think that it would be good to have a spy, or if we should just like go. Um, I could just try and stealth ahead a little bit, kind of stay quiet. Okay. Just maybe save your uh, wild shapes when we need it. Okay. You guys are wanting to come down into this area down here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Great. round circle thing is a um, like a rope ladder or something that goes up, and I don't know what the other direction. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'll give you guys, it's been a week, I'll give you guys the description of the room again. Okay, cool. I don't expect you guys to remember everything about it. Um, so it says, spread open on one of the tables is a simple map of the Greenfields area, showing the villagers, uh, villages that the cults uh, attacked and looted. 
There's an arrow that is sketched in from the green fields toward the west and the town of Baragost on the tradeway, where the arrow turns north. A separate sheet of paper that is covered with numerals and columns contains the note, Everything must be frightened north to Naritar. Uh, Resmir allowed us to keep some pearls, a ring, and a handful of small stones. Other papers are of less interest. Most of them have had uh, bad poetry about dragons. I assume you went in the room. The description itself is that th this was like some papers that are actually on the table. Like you, you see them pretty much when you first come right into the room. Um, the chamber itself contains a writing desk and stool. There's several tables with books and papers and a mirror on, on a floor stand. There's some light coming from two separate oil lamps. There's thick rugs that cover the floor completely. So no stone is exposed. There's no dirt. There's no gravel. There's nothing. Um, there is a, um, you, you, it looks as though there's like some sort of a column or a pillar. Uh, and then there's a chute that goes down and a rope ladder that leads down. I built it back there. Hmm. Interesting. What's this little divot up here? Is it anything? Oh, I haven't revealed it. Oh, got it. It's a big house, man. All right. So that particular room, it just contains more stuff. Um, the smaller chamber... It contains a bed and a trunk. There is also a second trunk that looks like it might be some type of a clothing trunk. Yeah. Cool. You want to check this trunk out? Um, sure. Do you think there's a trap? I was just going to say I have detect magic. I can ritually cast it. You give it a few minutes. Okay, that's fine. It might be helpful throughout the rest of the dungeon. So while they're looking around at everything, I'm going to ritually cast Detect Magic. Who is in this room? Um, uh, I, I think you've probably oh, told us it's... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, hopefully everybody. Yeah, we're probably all moving in. Okay. Yeah. I just need to know, is everybody in this room with them or not? Yes. Okay. Cool, cool. Yep. Cool. I'm moving. All right, great. Anybody else feel the walls close to me? Okay. Um, none of the trunks are, are locked. <coughs> you're trying to detect magic? Yeah, any magic in the room. So you're going to spend room. ten minutes to do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, while they're looking around at stuff. Roll a die. 1d6. 1d6? Yep. Well, bro. We're, we're wrecking. Okay. <laughs> Two's been good before. <laughs> um, as spell. you are uh, ritually right. casting the spell, um, you detect nothing that g the trunks themselves do not present any magic. Okay, okay so oh. none in the in the room. Not that you can tell. No magic. Okay. <laughs> you have to open the trunks to. Yeah. It's not going to tell you that there's magic stuff in the trunks. Oh no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, I was no, just more traps. Spell work. Traps and stuff. Well, yeah, not all traps true. are magical. True. Yeah. True. Just can I detect non-magical traps while she's doing magic? Sure, you traps? can make a. I'd say perception check. Who's up short? Sure. It's a good thing I didn't look for traps <laughs> then. <laughs> Investigation would be fine with that perception. Oh, where's the button? I don't know. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, uh, a total go. of 24. You don't notice anything that looks out of the unusual. You know, no, the nothing out of the ordinary. Sorry. They slip like chests chest, yeah, and it's, trunks. It's, it's, yeah, I feel like they all seem pretty standard chests. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> And they had frog legs. You open up the one, and it's like yeah. you open up the Ark of the Covenant, <laughs> and everyone's face melts. Uh, Spoiler alert! It's a great movie, though. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm so excited for tomorrow. Oh, you have to just let me know how it is, man. I'm what's inside? Okay, in what's the, in uh, the box? what's in the box? What's in the box? Your side of the table, dude. I'm on my side. <laughs> So the Edge. first trunk contains what looks to be just <laughs> some normal that. clothes. <laughs> it's a lot of robes and uh, some more like formal robes. Um, they look like just, there's nothing out of the ordinary about them. They are just normal robes and clothes, shoes, you know, undergarments, those types of things. Nothing, 
nothing. Uh, it's nicer quality stuff. Nothing magical. Just everyday. I would say like noble clothes. Humanoid. Humanoid. Yeah, definitely humanoid. Uh, in the second trunk, you see that there is a regalia. And there's a key. No, just take the key. I don't know who the fuck that other thing is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh-huh. it's like a ceremonial item. <laughs> Regalia? Yeah. It's an outfit. Oh, an outfit. yeah, it's a gimp outfit. It's a. It, this is actually like a purple <laughs> outfit. It's like a purple set of robes. I like call it up. I'm like, what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I thought you guys knew what the word. You guys were thinking of the medallion or something. Yes. Yeah, okay. I yeah. yeah. My bad. All good. All My good. bad. Um, does it look like the purple robe that the yes. lady was wearing? Yep. Mm. Does it give off any magic? Rut row, right? Um, I don't think so, but I will double check, but I don't think so. Hmm. I wonder if two cold. No, if it did, it would say that it did, fair and enough, it does enough. not. This is the I think they would definitely like, like, put it on. He's like five <laughs> foot. So it probably like drags this, it. This does not scale to your size. This yeah, is not, this, is, just, this is not magical gear. It's just like flat. It's just like flat. Uh, his arms aren't long enough, so the things are like flapping. <laughs> Very pretty thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like spinning around. I feel pretty. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of makes your hips look wide. <laughs> it's the tail. It's, it's the tail. tail. It's just the tail. It makes the outfit. <laughs> Um, you said that the map was all marked up with... Yes, uh, that description yeah, for that again is uh, spread open on one of the tables is a simple map of the Greenfields area showing all the villages that the cult has attacked and looted. Uh, there is an arrow sketched in from the Greenfields toward the west and the town of Baragost on the tradeway. Uh, that's where the arrow turns north. On a separate sheet of paper that's covered with numerals and columns contains the note, everything must be freighted north of, uh, I don't know how to say this word, Naritar? Naritar. I'll give you the spelling, N-A-E-R-Y-T-A-R. Everything must be freighted north to Naritar. Resmir allowed us to keep some pearls, a ring, and a handful of small stones. Other paper, papers are, are of less interest. Most of them have bad poetry about dragons. Um, I want to take the, um, the map. The, basically, the useful information, I do not care about the dragon poem. Okay, great. Write it all down, then. Yeah. I don't have a handout for you, unfortunately. <clears throat> Is it possible... I don't know a lot about these um, paper birds, but would it be possible to take the map and like origami it into the paper yeah, bird? Yeah, I would allow that. Okay. okay. So so what I'm thinking is we, we get this map, we put I it in the paper I can't give him bird. inspiration again. <laughs> it's a good idea, <laughs> It's though. a really good idea. Thank you. Um, so we take the map, we fold it up in one of these bird things and send it off to what's his name? Well, you don't actually fold the bird. You write the message and when you're done it folds itself up but you could like Stick it with it. And yeah. It's like, we found this here. Get it, yeah, get it for Or maybe, like, there. use a piece of wax or something to stick it to the back piece. Of it. Like, you could, I, w- I would allow that, and I think it's clever. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do that and send it off to. God, what is his name? Leosin. Leosin. I'm looking back and I'm like, okay, chuckles, okay. This really, mustache. Feels, going to... this really feels like the plot to National Treasure. <laughs> Steal the Declaration of Independence. There's a map on the back of it. <laughs> that movie was so good. It is. I mean, it's because Nick Cage is a national treasure. He is a national treasure. Yeah. I don't care what they say. Did you see that movie where he, um, with him and Pedro Pascal? Yes. <laughs> that movie is so, so good. good. So good. Oh my god. I, I forgot watched... to put that on my list, but yes, I watched that one too. <laughs> I've watched that movie like four times. It was so good. It didn't have any business being that good, but it was every I loved every scene in that movie. And they work so great. well together. He's and then long legs. Oh, I haven't seen that it's, one. It's I haven't creepy. seen that it's one yet. Creepy as shit. Did you go to the theater and see that? Yeah. No. Watch out in October then. So. Watched it. Yeah. Is it on demand already? It might no. be. 
demand of sorts. Ah, got it. <laughs> it was on somebody's. <laughs> got it. Anywho. I, I, uh, see, I, see what you're, I see what you're saying. So I'll get the map and write to Leeson. Dear Leeson, we found this. Spelled D-I-S. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't write too well. He doesn't have to. He's good at shooting. He's and then good. and then heart O plus R. Ribbit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I'll do the thing and send it on the way. So you find a way to affix the map to this uh, paper bird after you finish writing the note. Uh, it folds itself up into a very intricate origami style bird and uh, it takes flight. Hmm. Perfect. And I've removed one of the paper birds. We have four left. Cool. Okay. It's such a cool magic item. It is cool. And it's really useful for people who don't have stuff like sending or sending yeah. stones. Yeah, that's really cool. D- would we know um, like how long we would expect it to get, take to get uh, there? I mean, it's not going to be an instantaneous thing. It would probably take... By flight, uh, it'd be a lot faster than you guys traveling, so it could take a few it's, hours. It's, 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 pretty, it's still pretty good. Yeah. It's not traveling by road. It's it's going to have a straight it's shot. Straight so. Yeah, but what if it starts raining? Yeah, 60 <laughs> feet's pretty Magical. fast, too. <laughs> Does that affect its wings? <laughs> okay. So, uh, are you still wearing the robe? <laughs> uh, I feel like while they were doing that, I'm getting it. Yeah, so kick it. It, like, <laughs> it takes it off, but it takes them a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was totally gonna cut a tail, a whole tail, a whole for your tail. And I then, feel like, like I feel like it wouldn't be very effective to wear in combat. <laughs> uh, maybe ever maybe used it would look, maybe it would look good on Golk. But I think he is. Have you ever take used it tail sweep? He finds it funny. In fucking Pokemon, <laughs> tail sweep's an amazing. So yeah, the uh, the outfit is kind of. It's not like just a robe. It's got like this sort of like, I don't know. It's got like shoulder pads, and it kind of looks like that whole. It's not just pretty. Yeah, he's totally taking. No, I mean it's like. <laughs> that's ac- that's actually the person you guys saw Mr. wearing it. Hmm? Um, <laughs> but they also Mr. have hoods Beyond. on them. It doesn't say that, but I, I picture them with hoods. That's fair. Because I think they're cool. Paint fence. Seems more culty, <laughs> and damn it, it's my game, so they have hoods. <laughs> yeah. Bang, washcloth. <laughs> Give me paint the fence. <laughs> paint the fence, Daniel. <laughs> All right. That's high. Where to? Well. So do we, do we we checked out that little cubby hole up north? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's where that's her where bed and yeah. some oh, other okay. stuff was. <laughs> cool. So what is that, like, little boulder with the lines? So that is a, uh, like, it's a hole in the ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's a rope, like a like a rope ladder that goes down into this hole. Can, uh, can I tell if there's anything down there? You can tell there's a rope ladder. Does it just look like it goes to the, like, can we see the floor, or is it just going to, like, darkness? Um, let's see, how far down does it go... Um, it doesn't descend very, like, deep. Mm-hmm. It's about 30 feet. Gotcha. You're scouting, then I'll give you... So, a like, you know, not, not a crazy, a lot of crazy far, a lot of depth or anything, but... Mm-hmm. I mean, I go down there, but I, I can't see in the dark. Is it dark down there? Yeah. Before it goes down, I'll cast on Rag this time, just in case. <laughs> okay. So you're going down the little cubby hole? Yeah. So uh, I'll right. try and stealth down, though. Be as quiet as possible. Let's take the blue pill. I do have dark vision, so it wake up helps. I can see something. I gotta okay. Get um, dark while you are descending this ladder, and your friends let you go down by yourself, I need you to roll a d6. Yes! D6. Fucking get him, Stag. Two, 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 four. Okay, Boom. you're good. <laughs> four sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so that is going to put you here. As soon as I grab your little token, just put you there. Got it. Like roughly right in that area. Okay. 
Okay, you are at the bottom of the thing. Yeah, that is area nine. Oh, 51. Nine. Nine. Um, you see a corridor that leads into a larger chamber. Um, since you're kind of, you'd have to move like and clear the corridor to get a better view. But uh, the corridor looks like it, it leads off into a larger chamber. It's still dark. Yes. Um, I'll go ahead and cast a message just to stay a bit quiet. Um, and tell Fiora that uh, that seems clear. Just come down quietly. Okay. I relate to the group then. I'm going to come down. Yep. We'll head down quietly. Um, just to have a little fun, I'd go in face first. <laughs> like I'm like diving. <laughs> I pull out the Olympic goggles and everything. I'm like, <laughs> there's not water down. He goes in for the jump. <laughs> Sticks to the land. Just watch out for the vat of acid at the bottom. <laughs> Why did he belly flop like that? <laughs> okay. Um, your dark vision, you get a slightly better view of what's going on here. Excellent. So, this is kind of what you see. Um, you see a set of steps going, like, northeast, or, I'm sorry, northwest, and then a set of steps going to the east. Um, let me give you a better description of the room. There's kind of a lot of stuff going on in this room. This actual cavern looks like it is a shrine. Um, in this shrine, you see that there is a... Um, yeah, that's not a very good description. Okay, this is a good description. Here we go. This chamber has been enlarged and reshaped from its original form. The floor and three of the walls are smooth, and stalactites and stalagmites have been polished into gleaming columns. Every surface glistens with moisture, and the air is warm and humid. The flat walls of this chamber are decorated with shallow, abstract carvings of dragons. Dragons' tails coil into intricate patterns and knots that flow across the walls. The creature portrayed in the northwest corner stands out. A five-headed dragon rising from an erupting volcano. Other dragons, which seem dwarfed by the five-headed monstrosity, flock to its side. A small wooden chest with silver and mother-of-pearl inlays sits on the floor in the corner in front of the monstrous dragon carving. This particular shrine seems to put more emphasis on the black dragon's head than the other ones. It seems more prominent. Mm -hmm. Are there any dragons depicted in the mural that look like my dragon? Like my... Uh, All black dragons look pretty similar. Oh, okay. It would be hard. I mean, I know you've seen your dragon, but all black dragons look similar. Not identical, just similar. Could hard to tell if you're Could kind of be, yeah. Well, should we push forward? We 
don't notice anything else, like any pe people or, s I guess, any conversations that are happening from rooms, like the other hallways or anything. Um, you hear some kind of commotion going on in the, in the upper corner of the room. You kind of see the outline of at least a couple of different humanoids, and one looks like a very large humanoid. Okay. Not like a giant, just oh, big. Bigger than the rest. Uh, it's pretty far from here, and like I said, it's pretty dark. Mm -hmm. Well, what should we do? <laughs> we can't make out what they're saying or anything, can we? Mm, they're not being loud. Yeah. down the ladder and discuss it or do <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think you could go up and just stealth his ass? How many does there seem to be? Including the big one. Um let's see the big one uh there seems to be one that it's hard to really see exactly what she is wearing, but you get the impression that one of them is a female. She's a little bit smaller than the rest of them. She's a little shorter. Um, there's still something sort of like imposing about her actual shape. You think it might be her regalia. She might be wearing the similar regalia that you guys have found earlier. Um, the larger one has a outlined shape of basically like a half dragon. Then there are two other, like, humanoid. They just look, they look human. Um, that's about all that you can see. They, they look to both be male, uh, and they have, they have very gruff kind of voices. Do we recognize? I'm sorry, there are, I'm sorry, there's three. There are three humanoids, one half dragon, and a female wearing regalia. Does one of them sound like um, Cyanrath from when we were? He sounds like a half dragon. But none of the other guys sound like him? No. When they're talking? Nope. There's a half dragon in here. What'd you do? <laughs> Richard, so what, what, we're, what'd we're you do? Back, we're sitting back here, and they're like up here somewhere. So there's like five of them. Five dragons? No. So there's oh, five that sounds like... One and a half dragon. <laughs> what, what did we do? <laughs> one female and then three other humans. Well, so... And the female we, seems like she was wearing regalia. Yeah. So we could take them out, Good. right? We're gonna have to get loud though. So if anyone else is here, you know we gonna track them. We did accomplish our mission. We could just leave. Also, could be more treasure in here. there could be more treasure in here. I like the way you think. Big likes the way you think too. We also just yeah, took their bad. map with their plans on it, and if we don't remove the others from the equation, they could um, warn the uh, higher-ups that if we know their plans. Yeah. I'm not saying we should definitely fight them. I think your idea has a lot of merit. It's just, you know, because they're all options. Well, uh, the one, who is the black dragon? Resmar? Resmir? Resmir. Yeah, that, that's probably who that one is. I think, I thought Resmir was an actual dragon. Half black dragon Resmir. Oh, okay. And I think it's a she. Mm -hmm. A girl dragon? <laughs> <laughs> a girl dragon. Uh, da -da. And I think Resmir is the one that set up the whole camp and everything. Kind of the leader here. So, what does everyone think? We want to try and take all five of these folks out? We know that Cyan Wrath is still around too. Yeah, Whether if we can see him or not. Yeah, yeah. if we engage, mm -hmm. we gotta expect that. Well, he could be leading the Kobold uh, and, and armies could be as out. well. So he he may be out. I think we heard somewhere that he was still in. I'm not sure. I should have made better notes. Yeah, you guys get better.
Otis remembers back to his conversation with Chuckles. Did Simrath go with him? <laughs> we'll pull up the mod. <laughs> I didn't write it down. I just have Simrath still around. I'm assuming that means he's still like in the cave, but I'm not 100% sure. It's a good bet. What do you guys want to do? Oh yeah, Blue Dragon Kobold is here. So? Warrothin's fighting or what? Giblets or no giblets? Giblets. All right, one for giblets. Maybe You're I'll fight. Two for giblets. Uh, We've already killed so much. <laughs> I'm inclined to stay. Three for giblets. I like shooting shit. And I know Rufus, he missed one, so he's, he needs to get some redemption. Crispin's like, we should leave. <laughs> Let's Ow. leave. <laughs> Crispin says he gets an equal amount of votes since he's representing the Lord. <laughs> yeah, and he has uh, the colonel. That is his lord, the colonel. Yep. <laughs> Crispin, never mind. All right, so. Well, he has a channel divinity, so. <laughs> That's fine. You're looking good. Well, I so, can either hit them with fairy fire so we can get concentration or uh, get um, easier shots on all of them. Or I can use guiding bolt. It'll do damage and it'll help one person, probably you, hit them. Yeah. I can speak with animals, <laughs> cast thaumaturgy, or I can do the entangle. That could help out. Uh... Well, how confident are you that you can get pretty close to getting like a surprise attack? I mean, so they're like basically up in that corner-ish area, right? Um, I meant northwest, but yeah, up in the. So up, like up in there. Yeah. Not right. so much here. How, how realistic is it? I can at least get up to like that pillar without them probably hearing me or seeing me. I I guess it depends on how good you stealth. So, so how about this? Why don't you test boundaries a little bit? See what you can and can't do. When you feel like you've gone too far and you're gonna get noticed, you know, maybe better, you might get a better picture of the layout, then come back and then we'll regroup from there. So if we have to engage from a distance to surprise them, we do that. But if we can get you close, beat wholesale ass, well, that'd be good too. Well, I still a good amount of damage from range too. I think I might at least try to go up to the pillar. Well. Uh, Girth, do you have got any range? No. Well, I got rocks. <laughs> but he can move fast. <laughs> yeah, you can yeah. fast he's throw rocks. Thing, right? We, we all got rocks. range. And he has rocks. Throw rocks. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe that is the play to just all, we all, we, could just we three, two, one them. Yeah. I can, um, I, I can don't know why I chose to eat it while I was speaking. It's <laughs> <laughs> kind of seductively how you're doing here. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> I can um, make a spell. I can do a, use a spell that will make me invisible. So when I attack them, they all do extra damage. Mm, I like it. Put my rock down. He said it just like me. <laughs> like God intended, sportsmanlike. <laughs> <laughs> you put the, I put down my sword, you put down your rock. <laughs> I want you to feel like you're doing a good job. <laughs> I well, could I kill you now. <laughs> position and when you cast that spell, it's you don't. That's what I'm saying. Man. It's a silent spell, I so it won't have to. <laughs> no, no, won't. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Another good movie. Yes, such a good one. <laughs> if you don't like Princess Bride, you get out of my house. <laughs> We met someone that doesn't like that movie. What? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Are you, you're not friends with this person, are you? I have to work with they, them. They oh. sit right here at this table. Da, da, da. No, you they, don't like Princess Bride? They, they do not sit this table. Oh, I'm just like, <laughs> other Oxenhead? I would have kicked her out of the group. <laughs> you don't even get an invite. I'm not even messing That's around. That's the first question on the test. Mm -hmm. do you, it's not even, do you know D&D? &D? It's... Have you seen and what's your thoughts on Princess Bride? <laughs> yeah, what is your opinion on the timeless classic, The Princess Bride? <laughs> Who's your favorite character and Spoiler why? Spoiler alert, there's only one right answer to this question. The cleric. The clergy guy. My mom actually <laughs> Matt, banned is it me Mad from Max watching or whatever? that movie in my house when I was growing or, up because I watched it too often. That's wrong. Was it Miracle Max? Miracle Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's a few stages of dead. There's dead and there's dead dead. 
So, like, I got the secret layer of the magic cards that were from the Princess Bride. I love it. Yes. It makes me so happy. Dude, they're making, it's not like a strict canon set, but someone made an Aliens magic deck, and they based it off of Slivers. Oh, nice. It's pretty badass. Ooh. Resealable. Like, I'm going to need that. All right, I threw a bunch of stuff on it's here. Funny. So you guys can kind of like see a little bit better of what's going on in that room. <laughs> oh, I am not sure what happened to your map. Oh, oh. Mr. Probably going to refresh. That's why we hired a new uh, director tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying Got to sit here and eat there. Hello Panda chocolate meaties. Kind of said, is it worth Where it for me to sneak up and try to do fairy fire? Huh? Oh, what's the range? Uh, it's over on the right screen, brother. Like, yeah, turn around. If you're listening on Spotify, we're having technical difficulties. Listen, you have a lot of complicated <laughs> setup over here. You have four screens, they're different sizes. Ooh, Indian candy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah. That went over to look at some technical stuff, came back, there was candy. Bumble candy. That's, that's basically candy. like winning. Skip to the sweet shop for my sweet hot sand. I really don't need too much for it. Fifteen bucks, little man. Cast Put that shit scroll. in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, you will owe me, owe me, owe me. My junk. Oh, we owe, we owe. Okay. What you guys doing? You're trying to sneak up there? Um. I think we'll prepare um, something to do. So I'm probably going to. I don't really need to move too much. Like rolling forward, dice. Maybe like 10 feet. Okay. Just so I have vision. Better line of sight, I guess. Well, you um, got control of your token. Go ahead and move yourself where you need to go. Just about here. Okay. Um, and then I am going to cast Ambush Prey on myself. It's just a somatic material so it's not vocal okay um and it makes me invisible it's the one where i'm invisible but if i move it breaks up invisibility but the first time i hit somebody i add an uh, extra d6 to my attack so i'm just going to stand here and prepare for whatever you guys want to do all right so before you leave yeah i'll do the first shot when we're all ready everyone will hear it and then that means go all right. Sound good? I'm going to prepare uh, fairy fire, so the second his shot goes off, I hear it. I'm going to cast that. I'm going to prepare my axe. To prepare my axe. axe. But I have to move a little bit further in to do that. I'm going to try and move, I guess. Make a stealth roll. Me? Up mm -hmm. there. Okay. okay. Uh, Chris will give you guys. Cool. And he should probably stay back. because he's Yeah, Chris will be stuck. <laughs> he's got his advantage stealth, so. Yeah. Like, I'll stop chill here until, <laughs> until we're ready to go. <laughs> so it's 13. Uh, 19 stealth. Pretty good. Beast. That is good enough. Hope for E. Okay. I'm stealthing down at the same time. Sure. I'm not getting quite as close. And I'm giving myself guidance. Sure. In case. Oh, yeah. Yikes. Well, at least I'm already invisible. <laughs> <laughs> when this goes bad, he's just gonna wait for all of you guys to die. <laughs> Yeah, I'll see how I'll see how hard they hit, and then I'll. T and then he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna sneak out the back. <laughs> okay, soaking. Um, well, time to find a new party. Soaking never left for fire. Unfortunately, a that is a ten. <laughs> Ouch. On myself, I apparently tripped on a rock. But I'm hoping that I'm far enough back that it's not a big deal. So Breaking Bad. Mm -hmm. I think Tuco's still alive. Didn't help. How are you? Okay. Why is that? I don't know. They just keep sh well, that his cousins just died. <laughs> and 
Tuco died first. <laughs> oh, man, just wait till you get to the part. What about Gulk and uh, Crispin? Are they doing anything in preparation? Um... I. I'll stealth up. Chris will just kind of stay there. All right. Just. <laughs> just to not be too far. But I like the idea of this giant, almost eight foot tall orc just trying to be sneaky. Yeah, it's funny. It's like, funny he's like Thriller dancing up there. I'm also kind of imagining. Uh, Eleven. Original sin, when you're sneaking, you've got a fucking barrel over you. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. That's okay. awesome. Or a bush, or a rock, or whatever terrain you're in. It's so funny. Where, where are you sneaking up to? I'm going to sneak up right beside uh, Jura. Jura. Right there? I'm going to sit in Nevena. <laughs> it sounds so cool, but I'm like, nope. Jura. I can't believe we haven't had any miss. Not, or miss names yet. Yeah, I have a cheat sheet, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay. So That's I feel like everyone's in place. We're ready. I'm going to pull out my big sniper rifle. I'm going to lay down. Are you compensating for something? I am. <laughs> I'm a four-foot frog. <laughs> Lacey's honest about it. <laughs> uh, and then I am going to shoot F1. Response? F-150. It resolves. <laughs> oh, you, you idiot. I have two untapped mana. <laughs> untapped mana. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm playing blue? She looks over at Fiora's direction and yeah. smiles and... Dashes down the steps. Ooh, they're running. Daddy. No, just her. Just her, just her. Got it. Okay. Am I able to. We're gonna to, roll for initiative now. Am I able to pepper her before nope. she runs? Damn. No surprise. They saw you guys. Well, they saw some of you guys. Yeah. And they were over there whispering. We're not alone. Teddy. Teddy was there. All right, I'm not gonna lie; these cookies are pretty good. I took with these Reese's. Right. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Can I roll over a ten? Jesus. Sat saturated top. So what's saturated? All right, big. How'd you do? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Mm -hmm. Is that just wet fat? Fiora, how'd you do? Ten. Ten. Fat though. That's like animal fat. So. Uh, it, Gulk, how'd you do? The stuff that'll get absorbed. Twelve. 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 Crispin. 11. 11 for Crispin. And Otis. Uh, 12 as well. 12 as well. My dex is so much higher than here. Probably. Okay. Reese's. Hmm. Reese's. Uh, Fig, you're up first. Oh, cool. I don't know why I was surprised. Um, okay, cool. I... Do I have line, line of sight of the big guy? I can't, I actually can't tell. Nope. Really, no, okay, then I will shoot the guy far right with my short bow. I am invisible for the moment. So as Otis was, like, pulling out his gun to take a shot, she smiles, and you see several of these, like, um, wall torches light up to illuminate the room. Kind of takes you off guard for a second because it's dark as shit in here. Cool. And you see that these guys are... Uh, they're kind of wearing, like, no real armor, more like uh, leather jerkins or, like, shirts. Jerkins. And uh, they kind of have, like, these battle axes. So In the back, you see a, uh, a pretty tall blue uh, half-dragon. He's blue. Yeah, he is. Now's your chance. Your revenge. You're not sure exactly where the other person went. You almost had him when we were level one. Guy in the far right. I would kill him if I had a <laughs> 15 to hit. That does hit. I would hope so. It's over at him. Okay, short bow. That was my bad. I was stretching. Actually, six, I was really reaching for that one. That's really bad. Edging. That is going to be. I think you know what edging means. Uh, uh, 
18. So I'm going to do a global read and tease it works. This is B3. Shit, and I was like, yep, B3. I tried to How say much? something. I was like, uh, am I doing that right? 18, there is some fire damage in there. I think it was like, slay. Uh, I don't think it does, but. Some dumb shit. I was like, okay. Slay. I'm holding juice out right now. Some dumb shit. <laughs> 34. And he's standing there. Practically <laughs> dead. Uh, and you're no longer invisible? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, as soon as I shoot or do anything, it's over here. So. <laughs> Alright. Oh, the uh, one in the middle sees the arrow go over. I. I oh, you still got stuff. I do want to. I would have done this earlier, but I couldn't because it would break the spell. I am going to cast uh, Hex as a as bonus action on the guy I just shot. Sure. Hex? Rage. Yes. Okay, no save. <laughs> yep. But concentration, correct? Concentration. Rage. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah, that, then that's it. Alright, save. Okay. Uh, the one in the middle, he sees your arrow. And come from the darkness out of nowhere and it strikes the uh, big muscular looking humanoid right in the shoulder. You see him actually rip the, the bolt out of his arm or the arrow out of his arm and uh, he licks the blood off before throwing it on the ground. The one next to him comes charging down this direction. Beats back on the menu, boys. Mm, yeah, they got some stuff. Beats back on the menu. What about their legs? They don't need their legs. <laughs> <laughs> come right to Gulk. Oh, hey, Gulk. <laughs> uh, he is going to attack recklessly. Mm. You get advantage. Yeah. So I don't really have to roll two dice. <laughs> yes, I can actually roll two this time. <laughs> that is a 22 to hit. God damn it. Ow. Go fudge yourself. <laughs> Go fudge yourself. Uh, it is going to be seven points of slashing damage. You have not raged yet. God damn it. I was really angry. I had a bad night. I had a bad night. But I was really angry. <laughs> uh, fortunately for you, he only gets one attack. That's the Next up is Otis. Yeah, it is. All right. So Otis uh, relines up his shot. He wants to see if he can get a pop off at L1. No, maybe he'll just blast B2 since he's charging. Uh, so I'm, I'll use my. My sniper, since it's out already. He's about to Chris Kyle, this motherfucker. <laughs> 14 to hit. On uh, which one? Uh, his given name is B2. Uh, the one, so the one like right across from me. Yeah, that hits. It hits, okay. So that is... Ooh. Ooh, piece of king. Uh, 20 damage. Nice. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to yell giblets. <laughs> uh, and so Rufus will jump off my back as he does, going, Giblets! And he's going to also attack B2. Advantage. He this gets is, advantage. This is the guy that attacked recklessly, yeah. Oh, sweet. Nice. That is probably going to hit uh, 23. Yep. And he does a D shock. Yep. Six total damage. It would be piercing damage. Okay, you got it. And then that ends my turn. Do you have the token we can mm -hmm. use for Rufus? I have a token I can use for Rufus. Okay, I just want to keep track of what I'm doing with him. I'm not raging though. Not, yeah. Now that you mention it, I ain't raging. All right. I'm not he's angry he's anymore. Make, he's making a, he's I've gone to therapy. <laughs> Better help sponsor us. See your YouTube ad every day. <laughs> I think it's trying to tell me something. This is my therapy. Right here. For that. <laughs> You know, that is a good analogy. He is basically Scrappy-Doo. <laughs> is Rufus right now. Puppy power. Burda, burda, burda. <laughs> He's peeing on me. Okay, there's a, there's a dragon. He's biting me. He's, the fucker's biting me. <laughs> okay. That's going to bring us to Gulk. 
Come and kick his ass. <laughs> Come and kick his ass. <laughs> All right, I'll walk up to the... Well, yeah. Great. <coughs> <coughs> Dude, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> um... I'll swing at the guy in front of me. While raging, since he swung recklessly, he about to get smacked up. Poo, 19. 19 hits. Yeah, it's got fog, good crit. Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Daddy like you. <laughs> you using uh, your weapon? Yeah. Okay. Um, Rufus is gonna sneeze and put a little poison on his weapon. Got it. So do an extra d6. Oh, shit. Alright, so 15 slashing damage. Okay. Plus 5 radiant damage. Okay. Plus 4 uh, acid damage. You got it. So Anything else from you? 15, 20. 24, not bad on the swing. That's pretty good for, you know. Also, when Rufus sneezes, it's, like, super cute. It's like a little... Flies backward a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he, he goes back and... That's, that's, that's all for me. And he's got that little dazed look for just a second where he's like... Well, well, well. Why are we trying to fuck Ted? <laughs> I had a dream about my best friend. Yours best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm romantic. <laughs> I would rock his world. <laughs> the large blue um, half dragon comes strolling down, takes a look over at Gulk. And he has some smack to talk. Yeah, he does. Sure he does. Let's hear it. <laughs> Let's go. Huh. You survived. I don't know whether to be disappointed or pleased. It's a mix of both, I think. What? Maybe this time, I'll finish the job. Yeah, the only thing disappointing is your follow-through, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, <laughs> you see sparks begin to fly uh, fly out of his mouth. I need uh, Fiora. Let's see, 5, Go 10, fuck 15, yourself. 20, 25, 30. I need Fiora, Gulk, and Fig to make a dexterity saving throw. Jesus. Don't tell me you crit. I crit. I crit too. <laughs> <laughs> I also crit. Nice. <laughs> Well, I got a 27. I just absolutely euro okay. stepped around this time. <laughs> okay. So, like, everybody rolled good? Apparently. Wow. <laughs> Hate all you guys. I they quit. all move out of the way like that break dancer. She just. Oh, well, at least it wasn't in tech. Book. I just see Gulk, like. Hate all, you guys. Hate all like, you guys. <laughs> you know what that looks like? I don't like even fun. care. I rolled amazing, and you're not only going to take half. See, it's 18. It's, uh, What's worse? A failing your saving throws and you're rolling really bad, or a saving you're rolling really well? Yes. Well, I always, I always save the best DM. for last. I rolled 36. That was definitely but you guys take half. You each take 18. Lightning oh, damage. Shit. As you see him exhale a large bolt of lightning breath in a 30 foot line. Uh -huh. Can I negotiate for less? <laughs> no, you take full damage from resistance. lightning, right? Yes. Unfortunately. Wait, you bear totem? Let me have bear it. totem? <laughs> just, <Barbarian>? come on. <laughs> just like, I mean, just be cool. For what you like, can you just be cool? <laughs> just, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, it's Crispin's go. Crispin. All right. I, I rolled a nine, a nine, a ten, and an eight on four d10s, and you guys saved. I hate all of you. I'm never gonna roll that good again. That's fair. I mean, that still hurt. 
It didn't hurt that bad. If I wanted to kiss with Clark's mother. Good. That was half my HP. Do you know how bad you were going? Well, uh, no, sir. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> also uh, trying melted, to make so. this hard. <laughs> um, you know, darndest thing, the radio still works. I don't know. <laughs> you use a lot of attack rolls. I can't. Uh, I'm not really going to say with for certainty how fast I was going to. Um... The uh, being I'm the shower curtain ring feller. Advantage on something. It's, to, uh, it's uh, the being bless targets. If you oh, have my dogs were marked. If, if you think it's something you've used. You're the guy you tried to steal my cab. Yes. I do, I do. Okay. Yeah. It depends. I think um, I'm going to be entangling here. Yes. Crispin is going to cast the bless spell. That's such a kid. Okay. On it's somebody okay. himself. Yay, bless. So he's casting a second level to make sure. add an extra turn. That's what he gets for not being here. Yeah, yeah, I'm using his spell <laughs> slots for him. <laughs> They're wasting all make your spell sure, slots, bro. Make sure, make sure you take my underwear out of the sink. You're watching in the future. So everybody, D4s to attack rolls and save throws. Perfect. Thanks, Crispin. Crispin, yeah. would you become a cleric? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, okay. Uh, Just kidding. Concentrating on that. Don't think... Where's your other section <laughs> In between two pillows. Those are yep. pillows. Uh, so yeah, he'll do that, and he'll stay back. He'll get at least within line of sight of, of our, our party. Okay. Is that <laughs> it from Crispin? Yes. Next up is Fiora. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, um, they look, s- the uh, ones in the back look strong like the one that just came forward, right? Like barbarians or something? Yeah. I'm assuming. Okay, uh, in that case... Do you have your whiskey? <laughs> hoping to get them all in fairy fire, but oh, no. I think I'm just going to hit them. <laughs> so, I'm going to use Guiding Bolt on the... Uh, we'll say the one directly in front of Gulk. Sure. That's one of my three uses. D4. Is that a one or a seven? Yes, it's a one. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it was a seven. Oh, not the one. I can't. Like, oh, no. I can't. How yeah. may I help you? <laughs> okay, yeah, help so you. that missed. Yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> Bonus action. <laughs> Just start by wiping that rose. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble with twitching. No, we'll get so Are we much. unmature? So we can we see are things unmature. Like meth? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't put us on mature so we could talk about that. Um, okay, so my bonus action, I'm going to use uh, Wild Shape. I'm going to um, turn into a starry form, archer form. Nice. And as part of that, I can make an attack. Um, it's a ranged spell attack. Let's hit the attempt to hit the same one. That die is going away. Okay. Yeah. Hit Control R. Right. Okay. All right. Where's my mouse at? Right here. Okay. Move it all the way up in the top right corner. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Yep. Doing great. Keep going. Get on the other monitor. Keep going. I'm on the other monitor. Keep going to the right. Okay. Off screen. Where did it go? All right. Now click down. Just click. Click down? Just click. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Shockingly, you somehow put the mouse exactly yeah, put on exactly the refresh. On the refresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Dude, I was really stunned. I was like, he clicked down and just refreshed. It just worked. It just worked. <laughs> I didn't even know where your mouse was. I didn't either. I, we I'm did it. Oh, it's on this. Yeah. Yes. I, I thought it was on your screen. I'm like, it won't do anything. I'm trying to zoom in because she's having a hard time. She can't see anything. Got it. It's fine. I had a, got a nat one on my guiding bolt. Sure. That uh, that missed yeah. um, yeah. and it explodes on you. <laughs> Great. Um, you take no damage, but the next strike against you will have advantage because you're yeah. glowing. Nice. I'm double glowing because I also used my bonus action to turn it into the starry form. Ooh, she's shiny. Double secret Perfectly. advantage. 
Are you <laughs> are you from Twilight? Oh god, no. You're all sparkly and shiny. I'm also not a vampire. <laughs> or is she? Or yet. <laughs> you guys really don't know much about her. We don't. Starry form does sound like a vampire thing. Yeah. Do you, how do you feel about the sunlight? <laughs> so like blood, like have we ever seen yay that or nay? <laughs> <laughs> Copper pennies, sweet succulent treat. <laughs> You see a cup of blood. Appealing or <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what's your <laughs> what's your stance on garlic bread? <laughs> How do you feel about churches? <laughs> Crosses? <laughs> Indifferent? Is this burning you at all? <laughs> Take a drink of this water. <laughs> Tell me if it tastes funny. <laughs> Does a silver uh, bullet so actually kill you? Would that like do something? Like, no. Yeah. Do you sleep in okay. a fucking coffin? <laughs> anyway, as part of um, that change, I can make a uh, ranged spell attack. Sure. And I got a 23. 23 hits. Ooh. This is the archer form? Yes. Nice. Okay. So that's nine points of radiant damage. Have you done this form before? Once. Against the uh, small band of kobolds that I thought were going to be a lot harder than they were. Okay. Because they ran away. So it was very anticlimactic. Yes, I Got ended it. up shooting the ground. Okay. Because I was practicing. How much damage? Um, nine points of radiant damage against the one next to Gulk. Did you roll with advantage? No. He attacked recklessly. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's all attacks. Well, then that's a nat one. Uh, no, so. It's melee weapon well, attacks you know. only, sorry. Oh, uh, well, that, that gets the nat one out of the way. So. Okay, so you guys look over at Fiora. You've seen this before. Uh, she uh, embraces the constellation of the archer. Um, she, you see this like almost like outline form around her head as these multitudes of bright, sparkling stars outline her actual body. It's it's like she herself looks like a, the outline of a constellation with lines drawn together. Um, her skin begins to like shimmer with radiant light, not diamonds, radiant light. Uh, and then you see this bow manifest from the stars and it forms, uh, the string and she pulls out this just astral shot. It looks like a glowing sun on the end of a bolt and she launches it at this thing and it explodes with, uh, it looks like you got hit by a really angry stripper. <laughs> So it's, so it's Zoolander post. But better. But like way better. You know those posts where like the guys are stealing Amazon packages and it's a glitter bomb? It looks just like that, That's only awesome. he goes, ugh, because he's now bleeding. Edward? Okay. And then I'm going to move because I'm glowing and not for good reasons also. <laughs> I'm so team Jacob. Whoa, this uh, for flavor reasons, I'm going to say that your constellation form, whether it does or not, puts off 30 foot of bright light. I, it, it I don't remember what, how much, light. but it does. You are now lighting this place up. Because, like, yes. baby, you're a firework. Mm -hmm. <laughs> going to let your colors And, and nobody puts baby in a corner. I'm going to like back up all the way to like the, the ladder to try to find some cover. That's actually, I really like the, the Stars Druid. They're super yeah, freaking cool. Yeah. I had I, one in my first campaign. I almost played a Stars Druid instead of Nivenna. I'm a Leo. And you should have, because it feels <laughs> very true. different from every other type of Druid. It does. It's super it really cool. Does. <clears throat> Anything else from you, Fiora? No, I'm just hiding in the corner because I'm very glowy. All right, B3 has the hex on him. Correct. He is going to move 5, oh, 10, 15, ability check thing. 20, 25, 30. Oh, that's actually only 25. 25, 30, we'll get him there. Uh, he's going to take a swing against Gulp. Attacking recklessly, he pulls out a massive battle axe. Ooh, that's a good roll. That that hits. What's the damage, Chief? 15 points of slashing damage. Is this the Batman theme song? No. It sounds very, like, Batman-y, though. This is definitely the Batman thing. It is definitely not. It's called Dark Descent. <laughs> From like Epic Boundary. <laughs> There's a lady with like a spaceship or something. Let's try this one. Ooh, this one's called Dragon Forge. Let's see how this one goes. This one's called Batman. <laughs> <laughs> right, 
That is Adam West, nineteen fifties Batman. <laughs> All right, that is his turn. Next up is the B, uh, like this guy right here, 5, 10, 15, 20. Not, not He's going to move down here to Otis me. and attack, attacking recklessly. What a dick. Crit! Bollocks. <laughs> I don't have the thing, so. That actually misses. <laughs> uh, Excuse me. <laughs> that was way better than yours, Bill. Best one. It. That was the best one never done on the show. Did you take damage yet? Dude. In the previous <laughs> fight, you're on my side of the table now. <laughs> Quit playing footsies. It's with me. 23 <laughs> points of damage. Ooh. Where are you at now? 23 less than I was. I am at... Oof. Yeah. Not a good number. Almost single digits. Well, what is it? 12. 12. Okay. Wow, I wish our fucking cleric would heal. <laughs> Come on, cast scoff fog. You haven't needed to yet. It's the bearer, uh, the wearer of purple's turn. She comes back from the corner, dodging the attempted assassination on her life. Jerk. <laughs> Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> Get down. She is going to cast. She's going to cast Sacred Flame on Gulk. What the fuck did Gulk do? <laughs> You're eight foot tall. I can't use my height against me. It's a good roll. Wait, Sacred Flame? Isn't that the cantrip? Or yeah, make a deck save, buddy. Do you have advantage on deck saves? Ooh. That's good. 16 plus? Plus, plus. 18, Miosh? Um, yeah, you see this bolt of light coming in your direction, and you completely sidestep it as it slams into the wall behind Please. you. Uh, she is going to go back up around this corner and laugh at you. You hear her shout out, You fools have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. Where you going with chicken shit? Up is big. Dude. I just want your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I was just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> just looking for the gold deposit. This isn't where I park my car. <laughs> dude, where's uh, my car? Okay. <laughs> where's your car, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... What's my tattoo say? <laughs> Sweet. Step down from not being aligned. Gold. Dude. <laughs> um, and then I will attack the guy I'm texting. With my short bow. Do you like butterflies? Yes, he, he used reckless. Uh, uh, it's only on melee weapons. Only on melee weapons. Yep. Okay, so I will. Actually, yeah. yeah okay. New is always not better. Not very good. I don't think a 10 is going to be good. A 10 scotch. is not going to get you there, bud. That's a 12 month. Aren't you blessed? I am blessed. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, so Man. I, I'm literally the one who look, look at me doing Great damn scotch. stuff. 11 probably... 11 still isn't going to get you there. Who knows? Maybe. If I'm blessed, does that count for Rufus being blessed? No. No, nah, because another creature, yeah. Balls. Uh, but... Don't Boy, as they say in England, the bollocks. Is that what balls is? Yep. It's bollocks? Nope, mm -hmm. that's it. That's just like something Harry would say. He'd say something like, All right. Happy Christmas. Or the Berserker here <laughs> is going to Christmas. move past Gulk. Heading down towards Fig. Uh, he is moving out of your melee. You do have the opportunity, opportunity to use your reaction for an attack of opportunity. Is it an advantage like. since he did strike recklessly? Yes. Ooh, that's very nice. Daddy. Daddy. What? 15. 15 hits. Oh my god, I'm so strong. <laughs> Ooh, so let's go. Seven, nine, nine physical. Pretty good. I don't get the bonus. Okay. Uh, he is going to take his attack at advantage against Fig. Not bad. I don't think I got there. <laughs> well, Going couldn't plus. Imagine. Yeah, nine. You, you, you're even butt naked. You have a ten. <laughs> yeah. So that's not gonna get there. All right, I'm a little bit disappointed. Next up is Otis. 
Stig's like, nah, I'm cool. Nah, I'm good with title not being of, hit. Title of your sex tape. He's like, good, good swing. I like the follow through. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna switch guns to the blender bus. Mm -hmm. Shook, shook. And I'm gonna shoot him in the balls. Wow, balls. that's bollocks. He attacked me recklessly. Yes, but you are not using a melee weapon. Yeah, I'm not. No, so not yeah. reckless. <laughs> Right. Where's that at? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 26 to hit. 26 hits. Five. Where'd you get those clothes? The toilet store? <laughs> uh, so nine damage. Okay. <clears throat> You and then uh, I'll use my bonus action for Rufus, who is going to bite uh, the B1 guy, I think his name is. Okay. Oh, that's going to hit 19 plus stuff. Oh, yeah. Two. Pretty epic, right? Four damage. Ready Four more war. damage. You got <laughs> With it. My sixth health left. Um, six health? I got hit it real hard. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Are you, you I'm bleeding. No, I got a little say. bit more. <laughs> I don't feel good. <laughs> For the cleric's knowledge, yeah, well, he's in Vegas. Cleric for now. Anything else from you, Otis? Um, I think that is it for me. 53. Golk, you're up. Ooh, the Golk is up. So Golk just absolutely smacked that guy again that was uh, recklessly attacking. Yeah. Sweet. Cool beans. Ready? I'm feeling nothing less than 16. Let me do that. Bam! 20. Yeah, that hits. Ooh, nice. Mama got a new pair of shoes. All right, 16 physical. Okay. And four radiante. So 20 total? That is 20. On B3. Yep, hit. Okay, you got it. Yep. Is that it? Did not sink his battleship. Got it. Nope. Darn it. Uh, now nah, we chilling. We chilling, raged up. On a Sunday afternoon. The uh, the blue dragon, half dragon, moves down here, up into melee with Golk. Damn it. Hmm. You seem hard to kill. Oh, I am hard. <laughs> <laughs> got him. Got him. <laughs> got him. <laughs> he is going to attack you he's, he's with not gonna miss. <laughs> his great sword. How great is your sword? Roll me two. <laughs> not, not very great. Not uh, very he is great. going to try to attack you again with his great sword. Oh, yes. I rolled a two again. No. Spit in my mouth. <laughs> then I'm going to action surge. Ooh. Ooh, it pissed him off. Ooh, I did not roll a two that time. That is a 19. That a hits. That a hits me right in my head. Sweet dreams. Oh no, that's pretty good roll. Oh, no. Six, ten, Thirteen points of slashing damage. What is it, Jim, Sally? And he's going to take his final attack against you. <laughs> that is a nineteen plus numbers. Which one? Twenty plus numbers. And that is five, six, seven. It's eleven more points of slashing damage. Eleven. My dear lord, you thought you could take me? <laughs> you can take Crispin, all that. you're up. <laughs> oh, these are hurt. Um, man, I got to use Accent Surge. Felt good. Accent Surge is fun. Action I thought surge. you could only attack once, though, with the Accent Surge. No, you can just get your whole action back. So you can just take that attack action again. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played It'll be fight? changing in the thing, but yeah, in the new thing, it doesn't let you cast two spells. Mm. You true. cheater? I didn't cast two spells. I attacked twice. Yeah. That is good news for Smoosh. If we ever play him again. 
says we're having private domicile. <laughs> and we're not yeah. being asked. <clears throat> Um, he'll give Gulk Killers first level. That is max healing. That is very good. Uh, that is 14 HP. Well, while I'm raging, From a first level spell? Yeah, it's he, gets, he gets a, a fuck ton extra healing. Whoa, extra. bro, we're on TikTok. We're on TikTok. Jeez, <laughs> man, come on. Language. <laughs> Language. Sorry uh, because we're all grown ups here. Yeah. Watch your profanity. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Would you say yeah, this? fighter clerics can no longer action surge and then cast healing spells again in the new fifth yeah. edition. <laughs> it, I think it's good. It's not what it was intended for. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Um, it makes sense, yeah. but I think that's still sad. You will yep. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Where'd you go? Fiora. All right, I'm going to move forward a little bit so I can see B2. Sure. That's the one. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to make a uh, ranged spell attack against B2. Go can do it. Uh, 22. Sure. Nice. Where's our formal sword? Uh, nine points of radiant damage. On B2. Yes. Um, as you pull back the drawstring on the uh, the ethereal bow that has manifested from the power of the stars, the, the tip of the arrow glistens with the radiance of a sun as it smashes into the target and explodes in a, a plethora of lights and colors. You've downed this enemy. Yay. That's exactly what I wanted. That's very helpful. <laughs> so that's... Beautiful to the target. She's like, now I'll step over his dead body. Yeah, I will. I'll do yes, a little I jig, will. do a little dance. <laughs> Get down and tonight. <laughs> now I assume I can see Sinrath beside Gulk. Sure. Now <laughs> I... Which one do I want to do? Get down on us. Do the little dance. Uh, my spell slots. Make a little love. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to cast Moonbeam on him. Ooh. Nice. Oh my gosh, she just casted the best ability ever. Can't Care? you target, can't you so, the guy next to him, too? Yep. Nice. I just self casted yeah. him large. It's a five foot um, range as long as I put it in between. I'm assuming I can hit both of them. Mm hmm. Nice. Um, it's a constant. Uh, a uh, constitution saving throw for both of them. Then. What a good spell. Alright, let's do the top guy first. Yeah, That's a 13 plus mm -hmm. stuff. That saves. And then let's do the dragon. That is a 19 plus stuff. They both save, so they take 2d10 halved. Ooh, we kind of meh. So... Seven points have so three each. Three damage each. You got it. I am concentrating on that, and I'm moving back just a little bit because you know. All right. They make a save again <laughs> if they end their turn or if they start the turn. Um. First time I'm using it. My apologies. I fucking love um, this game. <laughs> I need so to beat good. these up next, so it's. When a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn, <laughs> or... What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> That's so funny. I know. When, when I was playing my druid, you got just as excited every time I cast it. It's so good. He'd make these very inappropriate comments, and he'd be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. He always got excited about it. It was awesome. Um... <laughs> when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, it's engulfed in ghost, ghostly flames, <laughs> constitution, saving throw, yada, yada, yada. You got it. <laughs> so when it enters there for the first time and when it starts its turn there. Yes. You got it. Anything else from you, Fiora? Uh, no, that's good. All right. B3. B3. Con save. That is a, an 18 plus stuff. Saves. Rolling like shit. Um, that's three points of well, it's six points of radiant damage down to three. You got it. You 
he is going to move out of the moonbeam. Fair enough. <laughs> and he's going to move down here and attack the druid. You're sparkly and shiny. And oh, he doesn't yeah. like that. He doesn't like spi sparkly, shiny things. He's like, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I just don't like it. Recklessly. I don't like it. So 21 to hit. Yeah. It's, oh, thank God. It's four points of slashing damage. Take four. Next up is the B1 Berserker. He is going to attack Otis at advantage, recklessly. Otis. Um, that is a 17 to hit. I'll do it. That is 10 points of slashing damage. Ow. The... Uh, Bearer and purple, you see, you I don't see, you hear what sounds like someone running up those steps. Mm. That's the uh, end of the round. Fig, you're up. Okay. Reckless, you say. All right, I'll move up and attack then. Is Rafe here? The ticking the hobbits to Isengard. Uh, that is a very high number. 20-something. Yeah. I don't feel like doing that. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> I like it. Um, six, sixteen. Uh, sixteen damage. This is on B three. Yeah, B three. Did you take into account the hex? Eighteen damage. Hex. Eighteen damage. Rufus will give it a little spin. Spit on that thing. Oh dang! A little hawk to it. <laughs> yeah. Give it an extra D six there, homie. Oh, another another D six. Hate you guys. <laughs> well, this is 18, so it's 21. No, it's Another. How much was the D6? Three. Okay. Anything else from you? Um. I'm gonna use my uh, dagger. Okay. My bonus action. You know, you hit hard when you hit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so 22. Yeah, that hits. I'm good. Oh, the D6 from you. That is another four, five uh, damage. Okay, five more damage on this guy. You got it. Anything else from you, Fig? Uh, that is it. That's all I can do. I think it's going to bring us to Otis. <laughs> all righty. So Otis is not feeling good. Fireball. So he's going to use his action to disengage. And he is going to hop over Fig, over Fiora, <laughs> and go over, over down here. I like to hop, hop, hop all day. <laughs> uh, so that's going to be his action. And then um, bonus action, command Rufus to giblets at B1. Oh, yeah. 18 plus stuff. How do you roll a nine on a d6? <laughs> <laughs> Eight damage. Eight damage. Be really you got talented. It. This is on uh, b1. B1. Yep. And then that will end my turn. It, I'm sorry. It was how much? Six. Eight. Eight. Uh, next up is Gulk. Yeah, so Gulk, um, kind of laughing about the situation that he's in. He'll, like, draw his axe and instantly just, like, kind of drop it backwards with the weight of the uh, axe going straight into the um, bollocks of the uh, big dragon boy. Dragon boy... He didn't swing reckless last. Uh, the dragon did not. Okay. He just swung at you four well, times. Uh, well, 23? Yeah, that hits. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. I mean, you can attack recklessly. You 15 have, physical. Have 15 physical and 6 radiance. Your reaction resets on your turn, right? Yep. Okay. Start, yeah. Roof yeah. is going to spit on that thing. <laughs> Extra, another d6 for you. 
Five. Another five. So yeah, grand total of twenty-seven. You got it. Yep. Anything else? Nice. No. Uh, kind of gonna laugh when I feel the um top part of the axe actually hit him in the groin area. <laughs> Like, the feeling of that just, like, bouncing back off the reverb over here. I just laugh. I just have a good chuckle. Whoa. Wolfman's got darts. <laughs> he uh, doesn't take kindly to being hit. Uh, he is going to swing at you with his greatsword. Sorry, can I have a constitution saving throw first? Uh, uh, well, I, well I, did, I just rolled that. That was a d20. It's 19 plus things. Uh, yep. that's a little better. Um, that's <laughs> number <Damn you. laughs> 12 points of radiant damage reduced down. Six. Okay. So now I'll make my attack. Beesh. <laughs> no, that is a 21 to hit. It's uh, seven points of slashing damage against Gulk. And he'll make his second Damn attack. It. Uh, I don't think that's going to get there. Three, huh? It's only three, though. Yeah. You're right. 14 to hit. Misses. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. You missed me. Crispin, you're up. Okay. Crispin. Oh, yeah. I'll probably just try to hit this guy in the game. This guy, uh, B3, with his mace, did he reckless last turn? I don't remember. All of the berserkers did. Okay. Oh, it was almost a crit. Uh, 23 to hit. Yep. Uh, it is 6 uh, bludgeoning damage. Also, he would probably do this not This is on B3, right? Yeah. Uh, how much damage? I'm sorry. 6. 6? Six. He'd you probably bet. also do it not Oh, this guy's got a ton of hit points left, so. Fair. Uh, yeah, so. I don't think. What's the point of spell slot is this? Uh, yeah, he's just gonna do that. Okay. That it? Yep. You are. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my um, action to continue to upkeep Moonbeam on um, Loki's face. Okay. And for my bonus action, I guess I'll hit, hit B3. Sure. With what? It's my, um, it's, it's the ranged uh, spell attack, so it's a disadvantage. Okay. Still not gonna matter though. Might. Ten. It's not gonna hit. Nope. I didn't see the other dice rolls. All right. Um. And anything else? I'm trying to decide if I want to <laughs> take the attack of opportunity because I'm hurting. This is what feels, but it's up here. Yeah, we need that fucking chicken. Um. What happened to your head? I'll wait for now. Okay. I knew it. Uh, let's see. B3 is going to attack the rogue. Okay. Recklessly. Uh, that is a 23 to hit. Yep, it hits. <laughs> Give me five bucks and you kill him. Um, 13 points of slashing damage. Ow. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Uh, that is his turn. B1 is going to move down here and attack the rogue as well. Uh -oh. Recklessly. <laughs> That's not good. I rolled two of the same number. Does it hit? 11. No, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me. Woo. 
Uh, back to the top of the round. Fig, you're up. I'm in danger. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fig's a little bit in danger. He's gonna attack the guy D3. I'm in danger. <laughs> Uh, 23 to hit. Uh, hex. 22 total damage on B3. B3, 22? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna bonus action disengage. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's got like one of those like cartoon bumps on his head. He's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand back here now. I feel like Figgy is a cartoon. Hurry up! He's I'll very much cartoon. <laughs> um, My dad's yeah. gonna be so mad at me. Action, bonus action, and movement. That's okay. Uh, Otis, you're up. Ooh. B three's looking pretty hurt though, right? Sure. Fair enough. All He's taking some damage. All I know is I've got, <laughs> you got a lot of points on him. All right. So. Otis is going to slap his hands together and um, cast Cure Wounds on himself. Summoner's bastard. I know. I'm at, what an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's only funny because it happens to me a lot. Wow. Still single digits. Look at that. I'm still bleeding, laddies. <laughs> what a good action. Stay down, Rocky. Stay down. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then as the bonus action... Do you see, like, a faint image of Mickey? If, if you see a, uh, a bright light, you might want to just start going towards it. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Uh, you better no, hope you bulletproof. Light. Yeah, sure is the bright light. Yeah. Why do you think all the enemies are drawn to you? Go that way. Jesus. Uh, and then I'm gonna move. I don't know exactly where I wanna move. But we are in a straight line. Yeah. Spider-Man, what are you doing? I forgot here? about that. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're about, yeah, you know you about to get turned into a make-a-wish kid. I do like bowling. <laughs> we are set up in a bowling. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'll move five. What are the adventures here? <laughs> am, am I dying? <laughs> Guys, it's Thanos. Doctor Doom kills Thanos in one of the things. Just rips him up. It's pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, I think he'll, he'll just move back here. Okay. And then bonus action for Rufus to attack B1 again. You got it. You can do it. You can do it. Let's go, Roof. Ooh. Yeah, that's a 10. Nope, you Who, cannot do it. Who let Roof the dogs missed. out? Uh, that ends my turn. Gulk, you are up. Gulk feeling high and mighty. Ready to swing for the fences. Reckless attack. Hiya! Channel in the colonel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crit. Is it? Are you sure? It's the mace. Okay. Mace that could be a one. <laughs> Shout out <laughs> Ashley Johnson. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, Rufus is going to hawk two of your thing. <laughs> Spit on that thing. Oh, wait, you just you roll your dice. Yeah, you roll That's extra d6. Roll it and then double it. Yeah, you roll your damage and then just double it. You don't roll all the extra dice. Mm-hmm. So just roll my normal. Roll, your normal roll, dice, roll all, whatever double normal double. dice you get, and then just times yeah. it by two, and then add your multiplier. Oh, got it. Actually. Okay. <laughs> That's the worst. Eight. Plus two, plus two, so eight, four, twelve, thirteen, plus three more. Fifteen, thirty. Thirty? Yeah. Oh man, I rolled so bad. I got 30. It's. What is? Alright. No big deal. Um. I just want to make sure this. Hmm. Does not work. 
I end my turn there. Con save. I got an 18 plus numbers on the uh, moonbeam. Oh, that's nice. You, nice. You did a moonbeam roll. You did a moonbeam roll. 18 plus numbers. Yeah, you saved. You so good. Um, that is a 12, so 16. For the I am going to attack Gulk with the dragon. Ooh, oh. that's a pretty good roll. 17. Yeah. That is it. That is no lackey. Nine points of slashing damage. Second attack. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Tommy want wings. <laughs> It's uh, an 18 to hit. Yep. Yes, I guess. It's another eight points of slashing damage. He is going to... This is my sale. How, uh, what's the... What's the radius on Moonbeam? Five feet. Just one square? radius? Or is it... Because if I put radius, it'll cover up like a 10, 10 square area. Hold if on. it's the like the diameter, then it's only one square. Um, silvery beam of pale light shines down in a five foot radius. Okay, cool. So that's 10. I'm going to move in the area you didn't put it next to Gulk. Dude, that's cheating. Because <laughs> well, I don't think you'd want to drop Moonbeam on, on your bro. Why are you fucking meta? <sighs> Crispin, you're up. Kristen. Oh boy. Now he'll bulk again. With the cure wounds. Stop healing him. <laughs> it's a cleric, it's what he's doing. Quit it! <laughs> oh, that's another really good roll. I'm trying to not make him live. You guys um, are like, oh, you guys never kill him in this damn turn. Daddy! <laughs> You rolled a seven instead of an eight this time. Eight. Almost max. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, you're over there going, cure wounds. It's just not as good as yours. Ow. It's like putting back teen on it. First I got this big fucking slash. Drink. You got one of those like Just little tiny Teenage Mutant right, Ninja Turtle right. band-aids. <laughs> big thing. I'm like, put this right here. Exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, that's <laughs> nice. So, drink. I think I got like four points. Drink your... It was two bandages. <laughs> one at each end. Yeah. It's a... That's, that's, nice. that's his turn. Looks good. It's a Looks uh, Fiora, you're up. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to attack with my action to move the moonbeam um, basically on the back. I know where you're yeah, moving it. On the back, <laughs> yeah, on the back side of him. And since it's his first time during this turn being hit by it. I rolled a two. Ooh. Fail. Plus numbers, which is, I don't have that much con. <laughs> oh. 18. <laughs> 18 points of radiant damage. My spirit guardian. So you guys remember in Raiders of the Lost Ark <laughs> when they opened up the Ark <laughs> and it melted all the guys' faces off? I do recall. Yes. That's pretty much exactly what just happened to this guy. He's over here thinking, oh man, this thing's not going to burn me anymore. And then all of a sudden it just starts raining down silvery moonlight on him. He looks up and he's like, oh, blood starts <laughs> pouring out of his eyes, scales melting off of his face. He turns into a little puddle of goo. The end. Hell and that's yeah. where we'll end tonight's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oh, yeah. Bonus action. I'm going to hit, I think, B1. The one towards the, uh, above Crispin. Yep. Yeah, B1. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to hit him with the, uh, ranged spell attack. Sure. Spell. Remember, what's a people's elbow? <laughs> um, 21 to hit. Sure. Note to self. Kill the druid. <laughs> Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Nine Here. points of radiant damage. Hero I keep rolling sixes on this. <laughs> How much? Nine? Yes. Yeah, name? note to self. Kill what? the druid. <laughs> She's what doing more damage, the more damage than the rogue. She's doing more damage than the barbarian. Right? Who? Moon the cheerleader. Good. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess Claire, I'm good. Yeah. I don't Claire, really want to get hit right. again, but... It's, it's been a long yeah. time. Isn't it like Claire... The berserker no. is Claire annoyed, and... He is going to attack Gulk again. Yeah. Attack Gulk. 
Actually, no, nah, he wants to attack that starry lady over there. <laughs> she seems scary. It's a 19 to hit. Uh, 12 points of slashing damage. Damn it. I'm down. Yes! No. I won! I had 11. Yes! I feel like you should play, I feel like you should play the Sith Lord music in the background. What's your HP at? Uh, five, maybe? Maybe six? Maybe seven. Could be seven. Uh, Berserker 1 is going to move down here. It's at seven. Does he want to use Snake. his attack of opportunity to attack? <laughs> Actually, Snake. he doesn't get to. I'm still in melee. Uh, I'm going to attack Gulk recklessly. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That is uh, 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits, bud. I'd appreciate it if you stopped. That's 14 points of slashing damage, which still doesn't even do rid of the damage that you've been healed for the last two rounds. <laughs> yeah, I figured since you knocked somebody. <laughs> Fig, you're up. Fig's going to use his bonus action through steady aim to give him advantage on the B3 um, with a short bow. Because he does not want to get up close anymore. I love your lights. Uh, 25 to hit. Sure. Uh, 14 damage. On B1? On B1. You got it. Where'd the blue guy go? We killed you the dragon. Obliterated by Moonbeam. <laughs> yeah. I got oh, yeah. That was my kill. <laughs> he got turned into a milkshake. Son of a bitch. Uh, just attack his dead body. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry. That was, that's all I can do. Otis. Okay, all right. So. Say you're going to um, make it. <laughs> I'm going to make an attack this turn. So I'm going to pull back out my sniper rifle. You're going to pull through it, kid. You're going to pull through. It's going to be fine. I'm going to aim at B1. I'm going to say, hey, happy birthday, motherfucker. <laughs> and then I'm going to shoot him. You can regenerate. <laughs> oh, man. I think that's going to hit. 14? 14 does hit. Hey. But you do hear him shut back. Hey, it's not my birthday. <laughs> it's not my birthday. What's well, going to be your death day? <laughs> You're on a live day. <laughs> God, it's sad. Uh, 14 damage. On B whatever one that one. Uh, B1. B1. Why do you guys hit so hard? I haven't even given you guys good treasure yet. No. I had to use a lot of resources to hit that. Hard. You did hit me with 23 I had damage. I'm it felt around. good. <laughs> uh, it felt then, right. <laughs> then bonus action Rufus is gonna... Uh, Jugular B3. Mm-hmm. Rufus crit! Oh, my nice. God. Yay, Yay Rufus! I hate you guys so much. What a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. I'm he rolled a one five. and a two. So three Double. plus two. Double. Five damage. You got it. B3. Um, and then that's it. All right. Next up is Gulk. You look over and see the guy that you've been fighting this whole time that you have a grudge against <laughs> that took you down on the ground and you're a little bit disappointed. But then you look over at your star friend who took him down and you kind of go, well, you know. She's also, I'm like, she's also ah, on the ground. Ah, ah, <laughs> the star is oh, ah, you're not sure exactly what happened. You think they killed each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's just... <laughs> Uh, so you'll see him just like fucking start slamming his axe up and down off the ground, just like super pissed off. But it's just going back far enough to where it's hitting this dude in the back of the head, and just just laying little like giving him like the homer on top of his head, just all these slash marks. <laughs> Recklessly, yeah. He reckless. Oh wait, I get add D four for bless. Yeah, yeah. So. Four. Nice. 13 plus 5, 18. 18 hits. Sweet. Daddy. We'll give, give you a hawk to a. I like how I got that means now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should be six. <laughs> it's a thing. Alright, one poison damage. 
three radiant damage and 17 physical damage. So like 21 five. total on nice. who? Yeah. B3 uh, or B1? B3. The one right behind me. Yeah, like I said, I'm just hitting the ground. You just hear it bouncing up off the ground, hitting this guy in the top of the skull. As uh, you there. angrily bring your axe back, you kind of don't <laughs> even mean to swing it. And when you do, you catch the guy right in the top of his head, and it splits yeah. his head open like a coconut. Oh, I was going to slam him back down. That's how I know he's dead. Like, I accidentally hit Yeah, your axe is stuck, but it, like, it split yeah. his head open like this. Yeah, and I bring him back down. So you down. bring him back over and slam him down on the ground? Yeah, not knowing he's on there. Yeah, he's on there. Uh. <laughs> and he splats right on top of the other guy. And you'll just hear this, like, war cry. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Anything nice. else from you, Golk? Yep, that's it. Uh, Crispin's up. <laughs> Crispin, like, steps forward. He's like, don't worry if you are. I'll protect you. And then he, like, looks over. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just off the ground. <laughs> um, he'll use his um, channel divinity here. No, good my time. good sir. That is no way to treat a lady. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> you, uh, it will be. So he uh, preserved life. So choose any creature 30 feet of you, divide 20 hit points among them, but it just can't go past their... What the shit is this? Past, it just can't go past their, uh, half we, their max. We have a cleric. So I hate life five, doing clerics. I hate them so doing much. Five, ten, Why are they so good at stuff? Life cleric is busted. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I lost my, uh, my sorry be. form. Oh, it doesn't really make me feel that much better. You took out like two guys and then blew up a boss. I mean, it's fine. Melted his face. Raised the Lost Ark style. Yeah, really. Which is pretty sweet. Cool. I'm going to write about it in my blog. <laughs> Blogs are back. Tell me. Got it. Um, yeah. He don't think he can do anything for us, section that he wants to do. I don't know this Barney. <laughs> <laughs> Fiora. I am just... You were on the ground, but you are alive. Cool. I hear it's getting better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the I was laying on my ground. I am a Italian kind street of like performer. And then you cast the spell. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back politics. to normal. No longer shiny or anything. I'm going to stand up. <laughs> Blogs are back in. <laughs> I hear it's getting it. better. <laughs> this would close out the politics. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm going to cast Divine the one that's left aside from the lady at the top, how badly injured does he look? Roughly. He looks fine. He looks fine? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure we hit him as hard. Okay, um... I'm gonna full action disengage. <laughs> Coward! <laughs> like you said, I just took out a couple guys. It's fine. And I'm gonna move out of the way. Um... And then I don't get any bonus action that I want to do. You're good, Barney. You're the best I've ever seen. <laughs> I guess I'll get Shalala ready. That's it. Okay. Testing. Next up is the uh, Berserker. It will. Um... I think Chris is on the way by. It's <laughs> fair. It's going to recklessly attack the cleric. There you go. You healing bastard. Crit. He's lying. Well, no, it's a crit. I rolled 20 and a 7. Is, he is not taking any damage so far. So. And he was he trying can, to. He pro yeah. He was what some would say cruising for a bruising. <laughs> I'm able to help with that stuff level 6. It's uh, 17 points of slashing damage. And I need a constitution saving throw against the uh, bless. He's not. Bro, just imagine if you're raging. I don't think he is. Sure. <laughs> that is his turn. That right, person's nice. not on the map anymore. Figure up. Um, bonus action steady aim for my shots against this guy. Also, sorry, hold on. I need to make sure I don't have to move. Use a bonus action to move my hex. I might have to. Kind of like. Okay, this. I'm not gonna use bonus action steady aim. I'm gonna use my bonus action to move the hex to this guy sure. instead. Um, and I will attack with my short bow. Why do I keep rolling 19s? Why can't it be a 20? <laughs> Man, <laughs> why, why do I just keep winning? Why, do I, why am I so long <laughs> success? I suck <laughs> it hurts being this good. <laughs> Great um, success. <laughs> oh my. Okay. High five. Oh boy, that's a lot. 
<laughs> you are HIV Aladdin. Uh, 19 damage on this guy. 19 damage, you got it. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm missing a d6. Because of the hex. Uh, another four. Another four, hex. you got Some it. Some of these calls were a little complicated. Uh, and that's all I can do. Can't move forward. Uh, Otis, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to blast the one again. The torture. Um, I'm gonna switch to my pistol, my pepper box, and shoot him. Shoot. Shoot him. Shoot yeah. him. I'm about to air this whole out. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit. It sure does. This is where the saying I uh, peppered a few shots in him. Uh, 10 damage. Okay. And then Rufus is going to close with him. Which I can't do. Uh, but close with B1 and bite his juggler. You got it. I can, I'm moving. Uh, 21 hit. 21 hits. Three damage. Yay, three damage. Woo! There you go, Rufus. He crit and did just as much. <laughs> Gulk, nice. you're up. Uh, so Gulk, uh, when he flings this guy in front of him, see, finally realizes he's on this axe, he kind of whines a little bit. He's like, ah! And he just keeps trying to <laughs> fling him off. Not knowing he's now using this lifeless corpse to hit the guy behind him with the axe. <laughs> I'm going to keep the weapon damage roll the same, but it's going to be bludgeoning instead of slashing. Okay. <laughs> Just because it's hilarious. It really checks out. Yeah, I don't need this. Rufus to give me a hawk too. Uh. Okay. No, this dice is so no, good. It's yes. so good. It's uh, amazing. 16 physical uh, bludgeoning. Uh, five, uh, 5 plus 4, 9. 9 radiant. So 25 total? No. And then... Three more. And then 32. 28 total. 28? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And rage, right? That was with rage. Okay. Boy. So as you kind of like try to still fling this guy off, uh, you swing his legs in with such force as it comes around, it like catches this guy on the side of the neck, and you just hear his, the, his neck just snap. And he just drops instantly. Yeah, and I think we'll finally finish off slicing through this guy with him shaking so much. And he's like, whew. I thought I was stuck on there forever. <laughs> That's okay. it. That is going to drop you guys out of combat. God, I'm so strong. I'm strong like bull. Well, that hurt. That was a little hairy. We should date. I mean, we should go on a date. <laughs> run away? Yeah, she's... Uh, from shit. what you know, she went uh, up the steps, you up believe. Steps. I mean, I'd say we chase her, but I also am bleeding from the ears and the butthole. Yeah, I don't feel so great either. You know you can Chris sweat there. there. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I can do a small amount of healing, but not enough for even one person. I mean, I got... Well, Chris wants to save these for emergencies. Yeah. I got another spell slot to heal, but... You know, another three hit points ain't gonna do me too much. Yes. <laughs> so I don't think they're gonna allow us to uh, rest before another confrontation. So yeah. I'd say we uh, get out of here. Oh. Yeah. Oh, let's see what that chest is about, though. Oh, right, there's a chest right there. Um, you guys could probably now have time to investigate the room a little bit better, yeah. too. Um, it would take, because of the amount of, like, carvings and stuff on the walls, it mm -hmm. would take at least a, a solid ten minutes to kind of take it all, all in and kind of maybe decipher what's going on with these depictions. Can I investigate the chest first, then? Sure. Make sure we get that out of the way, at least. Make a, um... I can also want to check for traps, too. Oops. Traps where? On, on the chest, just the chest. I think there's another chest in there, right? Could be mistaken. 
Um, you notice something strange about the chest okay. on the locking mechanism. It's a medic. Uh, is this something I need to investigate further? No, you you believe it's trapped. Yeah, I believe it's trapped. Um, it, it definitely looks sus. Whoa. Do you want the 10 HP rogue to try and disarm the trap? <laughs> See, that's how you use the word, not edge. I mean, I do oh, have, I'm stupid. Uh, I have mage hand. Nice. And yeah. I am a arcane trickster, and I can do anything with tools that I t- could normally. The time is All right, mage. you can attempt to pick the lock and disarm the trap. It would be one roll. Okay. I'm going to stand 30 feet away. You got it. And use my mage hand to do that in case it goes off. Okay. I'm stay away, but I'm going to give him guidance. Uh, what roll do you want me to make? Um, sleight it's gonna be a uh, sleight of hand or a dexterity check. Okay. You can do it! Cut these fucking head off. It's pretty good. Oh no, we uh, suck again. 24. Okay. Um, you're able to disarm the trap and pick the lock. Yeah, I would. Cool. Uh, yeah, he'll just like open the chest with mage hand, just make sure it doesn't like explode still. Mm-hmm. Alright, I think we're good, guys. <laughs> What's in the box? Uh, and then he'll go up and inspect it. What's inside? What's in the box? What's in the box? What'd you roll in your dexterity check? 24. Got it. Um, as you begin to open up the locking mechanism on it, um, you hear what sounds like a spring or something on the inside of the chest as well. And you kind of stick one of your daggers down in to keep the spring from popping out and you're able to safely open up the chest okay. without anything bad happening. Got it. What's your health at? I'm at like 10. What's your health at? 12. What's your health at? 25. What's your health at? 10. So had you not done that, I could have killed everybody in here but Crispin. That's, I could take it. And that's why we check for traps. That's why we check for traps. <laughs> so good job. And thank goodness you rolled well. Yeah, really. <laughs> okay. Yeah. TPK. Yeah, from a trap, and I wouldn't yeah. have even felt bad about it. <laughs> I'm like, you a holes deserved Refresh. it. Okay. <laughs> um. So, <laughs> inside the chest <laughs> is. You would totally tell me. The chest contains a few of the choicest <laughs> items that were seized during the Whatever. cult's recent treasure raids. Um. Let's see. It contains a string of pearls worth 300 gold pieces, a gold and sapphire ring worth 900 gold pieces, and a pouch containing a half dozen masterfully cut and polished precious stones worth 100 gold pieces each, so 600 gold pieces worth of precious stones. Can some, at least one of those be a diamond? No. Or- because the diamond that you need needs to be 300 gold, and there are six. Oh, 300. Yeah, there's a pressure yeah. time. Uh, the ring and pearls were uh, probably taken from one of the cities that you guys have been in. The pearls were 300? Yep. Does the, so does the ring have, like, any, like, insignia? Like, it actually has an insignia yeah. on the back side of the ring that looks like the crest when you, uh, from the keep of Greenest. Yeah, there was the string of pearls worth 300, the gold and sapphire ring worth 900, and then the half dozen precious stones worth 100 gold pieces each, so another 600. 600 gold worth of precious gems. Which makes you feel any better. Key in the other room. With me being the class that I am. Uh, yeah, I probably should try the key. The key rest, it costs nothing. And <laughs> Maybe we'll find something else. <laughs> so I'm good at dying. It was crap. feeling any better. Could have blown us up. I forgot my reading. You guys do, now that there's uh, no battle going on and no conversations in the room, you hear the sound of kobolds chattering coming from the room to the east. Um, they are not speaking in Draconic. They are speaking in common, and you hear something about eggs. You keep hearing them mention something about the eggs. Which way? To the east. To the east. Hmm. Well, 
that's the opposite direction of the way the lady went. I don't know if we can take another battle, though. I think we should go. I kind of want to see them eggs, though. We got so far. I don't really want to turn back either, Viv. Do you want to... How many, how many more uses of your thingy do you have? Do they sound like kobolds? <laughs> yeah, you, you it sound like kobolds talking. Well, we could... If you want to, you could use that thing now for the spider. If we're, if we're planning on leaving anyways. Or you could I'd save it in case we need it. Save it just in case I need to turn into a horse or something similar and get myself and someone else out. Okay. Otherwise, I'd agree with you, Matt. I have one spell slot left in that. I feel like we smooth talked the kobolds before. Maybe we'd do it again and just could. slip past him. I mean, shit, we are so close. I, I I can do a, a little bit of healing. It's not going to be a lot. It's not a real good on D8. I got a good look at that one lady, right? The one lady that, that kind of looked pretty important. She was the same one that was in greenest. I, mean, I could try and disguise myself as her. Why not? And just she's tell him. Yeah, tell him to run up there. Or it's Cyan Wrath. He's a little bit. Oh, yeah. Cyan Wrath now, would be a good one. Well, yeah, let's um, let's pull his dead corpse behind this pillar here so they don't see that. Then you impersonate him and be like, hey, we brought our new friends. We're going to go look at the eggs. The one lady knows that we're here, so I'm well, not saying don't do it. I'm true, saying, but she might enough. be getting more reinforcements. Yeah. So we just got to be quick. Go if, it, if, it's not right <laughs> next, if it's not right in the next room, then we get out of here. But if it's right there in that next room, I feel like we're so close. I think we, uh... Hey, Man. Do you have any more rages left? I think you get me one of those eggs. We could steal an egg. We make eggs in the morning? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Dragon let's, eggs are pretty good. Let's, or we can sell it. Let's do it. Yeah, I make a mean omelet. Okay. <laughs> I will... This guy's going to go terribly wrong. Right. I'm actually leaving as he's doing this. As he's putting his makeup on. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night. Maybe, maybe, can, does you, do you um, simulate the voice as well, or it's your voice? Uh, I can with uh, your, or minor illusion. Okay. Yeah, kind of is. I, so I was going to say, maybe just like grunt at him and like point in a different direction and be like... <laughs> Okay, so you are doing what now? Disguising <laughs> yourself as... Disguising myself as Cyan Wrath. Okay. With this guy's self-spell. I'll use the minor illusion spell to kind of help me sound like him. All I'm right, gonna... so you cast the minor illusion spell to disguise self. Uh, you take on the form of uh, Landagrosa Cyan Wrath, and you head down the steps. And right I'm... before he does that, I'm going to cast... Okay, right before he goes down the steps, I'm going to cast Guidance in case... All the light in here has been extinguished as you walk down the steps. Oh, shit. Um, you kind of look around to get a better view, and you see a couple of torches light from the lower half of this room. Okay. So, like, clapper lights. And, um... The chamber that opens at the bottom of these steps is immense. A wide ledge runs along the left wall and drops away to a pit on the right. You see many stalactites descend from the ceiling, and the sound of dripping water echoes continuously. I'm going to reveal a little bit more of what's going on here. So it's kind of like right over here. And there's these steps right here. The, the torches came down from, like, the southern part at the bottom of the steps. Got it. You hear a, a kobold voice kind of come from the bottom. Uh, is that you? Is it safe? We heard fighting. <clears throat> yeah, we took care of it. I just do my best with the minor illusion spell to make the voice. Sure. Uh, make a deception check. I'm going to give you advantage. Uh, 
Uh, it is a 20. Okay. A dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, they seem convinced. Oh, cool. We, were, we weren't sure what was going on. We're glad that uh, everything worked out up there. We've been watching the eggs, just like we were told to do. Perfect. Um, and uh, as you're, like, selling this lie to them and getting a better view of what's going on, you do see that there are three large dragon eggs down in this chamber down in here. About, like, how big are they? Oh, they're big. Oh, they're big. Yep. Yeah, those dark area um, that particular area is warm and humid. Uh, you look closely at the floor and you can determine that there are stains of blood and some of them are fresh. Mm. Uh, they come from various meat and some of the... You also see some bones that look like maybe deceased kobolds. Uh, in the far corners of the room, you see uh, a couple of the kobolds. They, they bring out these... Those four-legged, like, drake-looking beasts that they had raiding the village. They, uh, they were getting ready to ambush anything that came in. Good. But since they, they seem to recognize you, they seem fine with it. They... Uh, the kobolds seem to, like, get them to calm down and not attack. Um, in total, there are three dragon eggs spread out throughout the area. Each is about three foot tall, and if you had to guess, each one weighs about 150 pounds. How much can you carry? Um, I how much does your mom weigh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Now, again, I, I wasn't sure because there was, like, a lot going on. Did you guys spend any time studying the previous room? <laughs> Um, not really. I think, I think for the sake of we didn't want her to come back, we probably didn't. Yeah. Okay. We were trying to hurry. Um, you can make a history mind. check to see if you can determine what type of eggs these are. Plus two. Donna, I'm sorry, but dude, you are. I'm sorry. Nature check. Sorry. Nature. Well, plus two. Did you do that? What are we doing? You can do a nature check to determine which type of eggs these are. I feel like it's something you might want to do because. Full 19 for me. Let's see but what I'm feeling. I'm feeling it's going to be intelligence based. Oh, you got burned. Minus one I didn't nine. even get inspiration. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even get inspiration for that. Didn't you oh, already plus, have inspiration? Plus zero. Yeah. So, not 20 for me. But it was still a good joke. Okay. 